the canyon near you. Wyoming.com is reaching more homes and businesses than ever before. For more than 25 years, we've aimed to provide the best internet and phone service to meet the needs of our customers all across the great state of Wyoming. Now it's getting even better. Wyoming.com, expanding to an area near you. Wyoming.com, we're out there. Bailey's Enterprises is a proud sponsor of Riverton Wolverines football. For over 50 years, Bailey's has become the name you can trust. With pit stop travel centers, you can fuel up and stock up on trip snacks at locations all over Fremont County. You can also put your trust in Bailey Tire and Auto for service and to keep handy for those times when your luck runs out on the road. Refresh at the Speedway Cafe with a dine-in meal or a round of carry-out with a variety of specials to keep you going. Go with Bailey, go Wolverines. Want access to local news, sports, events, and more? Download the Wyo Today app. Now available on all platforms. Stream your favorite radio station, submit something to buy, sell, or trade for deals on the dial, or view contests and special coupons. Better yet, the Wyo Today app is the best way to access free HD video of Fremont and Hot Springs County Athletics. It's all at your fingertips. Head to your app store or visit wyotoday.com to download the Wyo Today app now. And welcome to another game of the week brought to you by Wyo Today Media on KWYW 99.1 The Heat. This is Kevin Shields, your voice as always, here on the Hampton Inn Suites pregame show, joined as usual by my cameraman, Connor Shields. Connor, how you feeling today? Good. A man of many words, a man of many words. So tonight we have the Buffs visiting from Grable, facing off the Cougars from your hometown, Wind River High School. Of course, this is another top eight matchup. Of course, the last time we were here was Big Piney, and it was number one Big Piney falling to a Wind River, who was number four. Coming into the game tonight, Wind River is all the way up at number two, and they will be facing number eight, Grable, here on homecoming night. So we've got a few little changes going on tonight. Um, when we go to our halftime show, we'll have a little bit more commercial and whatnot. Give us a chance to actually run to the restroom, grab a drink, what have you, as halftime will be 20 minutes. Um, so they're going to do that. The JV team just finished up a little while ago. They only played two quarters tonight. So, we will be back with more on the stats between these two great teams here on KWYW 99.1 The Heat. Healthcare has clinics located in Arapahoe, Ethity, and Riverton. We provide family medical services along with dental, optometry, behavioral health, physical and occupational therapy, and more. Our in-house lab and pharmacy at all locations make for a one-stop primary health care center for your health care needs. Wind River Family and Community Healthcare is striving for a stronger, healthier community because Wind River Cares. More information can be found at windrivercares.com. From one corner of the state to the other, over 82% of Wyomingites wear their seatbelts. And to the 18% who don't, we say, let's buckle up for life, Wyoming. High Plains Power is a Touchstone Energy Cooperative. What does that mean for you as a Rural Electric Association member? It all comes down to seven principles. Open membership, one voice, one vote, member benefits, independence, education, cooperation, and community. To understand how it all works, we're headed back in time. In 1879, electricity was in major cities, but rural areas were out of luck. In 1935, President FDR made it possible for companies to build power lines to unserved areas. By the time we hit 1941, some 400 electric co-ops had been organized to serve rural America, just like High Plains Power. For more information, visit highplainspower.org. Welcome back to the Hampton Inn Suites pregame show here live on KWYW 99.1 The Heat. If you are listening on the radio, reminder that it is live streamed absolutely free on Wyo Today's YouTube page. Just go to YouTube and search for Wyo Today. So this is number eight, the three and two 
Grable Buffs, 2-2 two two in conference against Wind River, who's 5-0, 4-0 in conference. The record a little bit misleading. They are undefeated, but their first two games coming from forfeit, as we heard from Coach Frederick um, when we called the Big Piney game. These are two teams. Uh, Wind River, a little more balanced. Grable is going to look to pound the ball. Grable comes in averaging 201 uh, two, uh, 201 rushing yards per game. That breaks them six in Class 1A9, man. And in passing yards, they only pass for 57 yards per game. That puts them 13th in Class 1A9, man, towards the bottom there. Um, as far as Wind River goes, though, 187 in, in, on the ground and 116 in the air. That puts them eighth and seventh in 1A, respectively. As far as overall offense, Wind River with a definite advantage there, mainly because of the uh, big gap in passing yards per game. Wind River comes in on average with 303 all-purpose yards per game. Grable with 258. Um, the series is led currently. They've met 20 times. It's currently led by Grable 11-9. Now, it's interesting because Grable won the first 10. Since then, Wind River has gone a nine and one. Of course, they first met on October 10th, 1969, with Grable winning 35 to six. Last five meetings between them have happened in 22, 21, and 20, and then all the way back to 08 and 07. So, in the modern era that any of these kids could have seen, Wind River has a substantial advantage, winning last year 64 14. 56 to 6 and 21 and in 20 they won 14 13 the last time this game was close so we're here on homecoming night and we've got about i'm trying to see the uh time here we got about 13 minutes we're going to take another quick break and we will be right back with more of the hampton inn and suites pregame show here on kwyw 99.1 the heat second chance, including us. Hi, I'm Brian Robacher, CEO of Atlantic City Federal Credit Union. And if we said no to you in the past, I'm asking you for a second chance too. In the midst of everything happening, we are committed now more than ever to second chances and when it comes to your finances. An auto loan for your new car, business loans, home loans, and more. Give Atlantic City Federal Credit Union a second chance to give you a second chance. We've been helping our community thrive since 1964, and now it's your turn. Visit AtlanticCity.coop to apply today. Atlantic City Federal Credit Union, federally insured by the NCUA. Wyoming Waste hopes that all Fremont County sports teams dismiss their opponents like Wyoming Waste dismisses your trash. They offer services from roll-off cans, commercial, and residential garbage. Wyoming Waste Services, Fremont County, Hot Springs County, Washakie County. They are open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Please call 307-856-5354 or stop down at the Riverton office, 730 South Broadway. Wyoming Waste wants to wish everyone in Fremont County good luck in their sports this year. If your vehicle needs repair, you can depend on the crew at Extra Care Auto Repair. They can repair almost anything with wheels, gas, diesel, domestic, or import, and their work is top quality and reliable. Extra Care Auto Repair on North Federal in Riverton. Back when I was riding in rodeos, I always made sure I was locked in good and tight. Now as a touring musician, crisscrossing the country, I still make sure I'm locked in good and tight. Of course I do. Buckle up for life, Wyoming. Julian Tatro is the son of Nicole and Zach. <laughs> And welcome back to the Fremont County Game of the Week on 99.1 KWYW The Heat. It is the Hampton Inn and Suites pregame show, and we are going to rock and roll right into your Ranger Keys to the game. And it's going to be quite simple. For the buffs, it's going to be time control, time control, time control. Now, they're kind of built for that. 
as far as working the clock, as far as they, like we said earlier, the rushing yards per game, 201 per, um, only 57 passing yards. So if they can move the chains, they'll have a chance to pull this upset. They are number eight, so not a huge upset, but big enough over number two here. For Wind River, it's going to be to continue to find their identity, although they have beaten number one here, the previous number one, Big Piney, at home. There's still only three games really into their season with two coming from forfeit. So Coach Frederick's going to be still looking to find the identity as we go down this tail stretch and headed to a chance to hopefully get to Laramie and the state title game uh, later in the year. Now, it'll be interesting to see how they deploy the two quarterbacks, of course. Of course, I'm meaning Chris Burke and Cooper Frederick, both lined up there. How do they deal with that? Big Piney able to shut down the bounce attack, at least on the ground early on um, a few weeks ago. But that's when Cooper Frederick came in. They started to air it out quite a bit more. Um, but don't fool yourself. They are established the ground game first. So as long as they come out and be who they are, keep level heads, they should be all right. But that's going to be it. A lot of a lot going on this week, homecoming, a lot of alumni and everything of that nature. Right now, they are honoring both all the football seniors as well as the band seniors. So congratulations to them. We're going to roll right into our Sutherland's starting lineups. First, for the visiting Buffs, a senior, wide receiver and DB, number two, Jesus Rodriguez. Number 10, a senior, D tight end and defensive end, Joel Miller. A sophomore quarterback and defensive back, number 12, Caden Hunt. Number nine, a running back and defensive back, 22, Larry Longshore. Number 24, running back, tight end, and linebacker, senior Isaac Gaten. Number 10, running back and linebacker, Caden Sorensen. Number 44, junior running back and linebacker, Lucas Bolzer. Number 46, a junior running back and defensive end, Wyatt Didrickson. Number 50, a tight end linebacker, a junior, Steele Davis. And number 65, a freshman offensive line and defensive line, number 65, Jackson Hunt. The coaches are, for the Buffs, Daryl Shiplett, Jeremy Posca, and Will Levine. For the hometown homecoming celebrating Wind River Cougars, starters are number three, a senior tight end, defensive end, defensive tackle, Blake Snyder. Senior quarterback, defensive back, number five, Chris Burke. Sophomore, running back, linebacker, safety, and quarterback, as we saw earlier, Cooper Frederick. Senior, number 13, running back, wide receiver, corner and safety, Joaquin Stevens. Field he wants to study. Senior Cooper wide receiver, Frederick, corner and safety, number, uh, excuse me, senior football. running back, tight end, corner and safety, right number 15, the Aiden the Ruby. Here. Number 16, a running back, linebacker, and corner, a junior, Braden Tatro. A tight end, offensive line, defense line, senior, number 20, Rowdy Shearer. A junior, offensive line, defense line, Kaisaia Jones. I'm going to mess that up again. <laughs> and then a senior, offensive line, defensive end, number 91, Isaac Gardner. So those are your starters, the coaches. Four of the Cougars are head coach Rod Frederick, assistant coaches Kyle Hunter and Troy Anderson. Player to watch, of course, will be Cooper Frederick. He comes in at 115 passing yards per game. As you can tell, Chris Burke mainly going to keep it on the ground. He averages 188 all-purpose yards on the ground, so he is the one to watch. If you haven't been listening, you're on your way to the game or whatnot, we want to ask you to stop by and see those great programs available at the concession stand free of charge done by the great folks at Ranger Prince. Good job, Robert. All right. Well, that's going to do it for the Sutherland starting lineups, and we'll be back with more of the Hampton Inn Suites pregame show here on 99.1 KWYW The Heat. The Calzones and Subs at Perrette's, 519 West Main in Riverton. Open for lunch and dinner Monday through Friday. Closed on weekends. Call 857-7306 to order for pickup or delivery with DoorDash. Perrette's. The Stock Dock is proud to serve all of Fremont County and surrounding areas. They are dedicated to providing the highest level of veterinarian medicine along with friendly and compassionate service. They service all pets of shapes and sizes between dogs and cows and cats and horses. They treat your animal like it's their own. The Stock Dock.
Midway. Visit an all-out clear-out for the new 2022 campers with the best price guarantee. Midway has financing with no money down, no payments for the rest of the year. Low, low interest rates on sweet fifth wheel. Dealer incentives up to 25000 on toy haulers. Top dollar on trade-ins and door-to-door delivery. It's Midway's all-out clear-out. MidwayCampers.com. Midway, when you expect the best. You need an oil change, but you don't have a lot of time. Expressway Lubes on South Federal in Riverton and Highway 789 in Lander provide a fast, professional lube oil and filter change. Expressway Lubes, locally owned and proud to support our local student-athletes. Your tax pros at 672 West Main Street in Lander, Wyoming can handle all your tax needs. Whatever your situation, we know what to do. Call 307-856-2256 today to schedule an appointment. H&R Block is open Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. The staff and board at the Fremont County Fair wish to thank everyone who attended the fair this year. Whether you enjoyed family day, a night event, entered a craft show, or showed your livestock, thank you for all your efforts. We'll be moving and grooving next year, so stay tuned. Gating number 24. And welcome back to the Hamden Inn Suites pregame show here on 99.1 The Heat. Also available on Y of Today's YouTube page as we see people filing in on there. It is an absolutely beautiful day here in Pavilion. It is going to be right about 62 degrees at kickoff. Feels a little bit warmer than that way up here in the crow's nest. Unfortunately for the players and for us up here, that's going to very much go away very quickly and it's not going to get downright cold but it is going to drop about 10 degrees during this game by the time we reach the fourth quarter we should be at about 52 degrees and uh, right now the wind really behaving it's a below forecasted right now but we shall see how that goes we're supposed to be seeing about eight miles per hour um, but if it stays like it is now it's nowhere near that um, and we're pretty high up and looking at the flags they are completely still and hanging limp so that could be good if someone wants to go to the air so we are about to have the coin toss, and that's going to do it for the Hampton Inn pregame show. We want to thank Ryan Preston, Ashley, and all the gang over there at Hampton Inn. You got friends and family coming in. I have in-laws coming in in two weeks, and they are, of course, going to stay at the sponsor of the Hampton Inn pregame show. They're going to stay with Ryan and the crew over there. So we want to thank them for their sponsorship as well as Sutherland's and the Ranger. And when we come back, it will be kickoff time between number two, Wind River Cougars, and number eight, Grable Buffs. We'll be back with the kickoff here on KWYW 991 The Heat. Are you a caring person that wants to help but not sure where to go? Wyoming Senior Citizen Inc. is looking for caregivers across the state. Call 307-856-6880 to find out more information. They would like to wish all Fremont County athletes good luck this year. Let's go all Fremont County athletes. I, Matt Gordon from Fremont Chevy, would like to wish all teams this year good luck and bring back some championships to this county. If you need a new ride to get to and from those away games, stop down at 1401 North Federal Boulevard or call 307-851-3797 and let me help you get to the games. Your sales professional, Matt Gordon. Riverton Blowdorn Lumber is proud to support youth sports. Experience the Blowdorn difference. Quality products, design, delivery, and expert service. Blowdorn Lumber, 1202 North Federal in Riverton. Blowdorn Lumber.
Overhead Door Company of Riverton and Lander is your premier dealer for quality windows and doors, featuring quality brands like Anderson, Colby, Larson Storm Doors, and more. Overhead Door Company is proud to support our Fremont County student-athletes. Your tax pros at 219 East Main Street in Riverton, Wyoming can handle all your tax needs. Whatever your situation, we know what to do. Call 307-856-2256 today to schedule an appointment. H&R Block is open Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. B&M Septic and Excavation offers prompt professional service. Call them today for a quote at 850-2200. They serve far and wide across Fremont County and deep. B&M Septic and Excavation is proud to support Fremont County Sports. If you're planning home improvement projects, look no further than Valley Lumber. They provide nothing but the best from lumber, power tools, hardware, paint, plumbing supplies. If you need it, they have it. Valley Lumber at 290 North 2nd Street in Lander. For more than 60 years, RTL Point S has been installing quality tires and offering expert vehicle service in Fremont County. With two locations on South Federal and West Main in Riverton, RTO Point S is proud to support our Fremont County student-athletes. Head to Nana's Bowling and Bakery in Dubois for Family Fun Night. Now booking parties for all ages and occasions. To reserve your company, family, or birthday party, call 455-3660. Nana's Bowling and Bakery is proud to support Fremont County student-athletes. Quality in Thermopolis offers great rates, a convenient location, standard room, and family rooms with bunk beds. Choice hotel members earn points while you stay. Quality in is proud to support Fremont and Hot Springs County student-athletes. Community Health Centers of Central Wyoming has locations across Fremont County ready to serve you at Dubois Medical Clinic, Riverton Community Health, and Lander Community Health Pediatrics. We accept all forms of insurance, including Medicaid and Medicare. Are you struggling to get medical care? Ask for their sliding fee scale. From family medicine to pediatrics, Community Health Centers are here to serve you. Call 307-463-7160 or visit chccw.org to schedule schedule your appointment and welcome back and it is game time here at wind river high school number two wind river cougars versus number eight gray bill buffs and we are ready for kickoff receiving will be the cougars buffs coming up kickoff is very short so much so that we didn't have anything. Was I guess that was onside attempt. It it was it it went seven yards, so that backfired immensely on the buffs here. A little trickeration early on, trying the onside kick. I think he may have slipped on it, but didn't go ten yards. So it really didn't matter one way or the other. Chris Burke will start at quarterback for the Cougars here and we'll actually have our first minute of play of course last time we were here against Big Piney we saw Burke running quite a bit but he's coming out with the gun he's got two far side wide receivers one on the near side he's going in motion there's the snap and it's going to be kept by Burke and he's going to gain about three he's going to gain it to the 43 yard line of Grable so a first yard, a first down run going from the 46 all the way to the 43. They're going to spot it at the 42, actually. So give him about four there. That is what Chris Burke is known for when he's at quarterback. Now, when we see Frederick come in, when Cooper comes in, we'll see we'll see a Chris Burke's move to tight end. Again, going out of the gun, got three in very tight, but on the far side as far as wide receivers, no protecting back. Burke gets the snap. He's going to roll to his left. He's pressured, and he's going to throw it out of bounds, I do believe, is what they're going to call. And it looked like it was going to be caught, but far out of bounds, about a yard, maybe two, three feet in total out of bounds. So it'll set up third and about, we'll call it six and a half. He gained about three and a half on that first down run, and this now puts them behind the sticks. On third and long after the attempted onside by the Buffs. Coming to the line is Burke. 
Actually, no, coming in the line is Cooper Frederick. Going in motion is one of the receivers. Going to give it to the man in motion on an end round, and he's going to be short there. He's going to gain the 39, so no reason, I think, for a punt there. Fourth and about one. So it's going to be a very solid two. We'll call it almost three. So long, but a long two here. Cooper Frederick now playing quarterback. Very much shifted the moment they had to go to the air. Frederick coming to the line. And this time, no, excuse me, it's going to be Burke. It's going to be Chris Burke under center. He's going to hand to Cooper Frederick, and he is going to get the first down. Showed up in a three-headed eye there. Um, not stacked like a power eye, but we'll call it kind of a power eye anyway. And he gains the 39-and-a-half yard line of the Buffs to move the chain. So it'll be first and 10 for the Cougars here as they are in the midst of a drive here with 10.28 and counting to go. Oh, we're way off on our time, so we'll pause it here. I forgot to stop it for moving of the chains. Chains are now moved, so we'll get that back. So used to them getting rid of that rule in college now, where, of course, they do not stop unless it's under two minutes for movement of the chains. So... Frederick in at quarterback, in shotgun. He's got three wide receivers, one of them near. He's going to take off, and he's going to get sacked in the backfield. Frederick Tug off a little bit too much. Great pressure by the Buffs there. They're going to give him a loss of one on the sack there by the defensive end. So there we got the clock back right again. 9.53 to go and counting in the first. 0-0 zero, zero here on homecoming week between the Buffs of Grable and the Cougars of Wind River. Cougars break the huddle. Let's see who's coming in at quarterback. They rotate them at will. It will be Cooper Frederick out of the gun, and he's going to have three wide receivers. It looks like one's kind of confused, and we get a timeout on the field. Timeout by Wind River. That quarter, The wide receiver quarterback not on the same page. We'll take it with them. We'll be right back. 9.31 to go in the first quarter. 0-0 here on 99.1. KWYW The Heat. Your car or truck is a an investment. When it needs repairs, you need someone you can trust to do the job right. Ticket to Gunners Automotive. They repair all makes and models of cars and trucks, from oil changes to brakes, tires, and more. Gunners Automotive, 856-2288. When you purchase your car, do you know if you got the best payment possible? The answer is probably no. Oftentimes, your loan is packed with additional charges that can drive your monthly payment higher than it should be, costing you thousands of dollars more for your car. Hi. Sorry, we'll have to get back to the commercial. We'll rewind it for you guys when we get back. They broke the huddle here, and it's going to be a reverse here on second and long, and it's going to work. It's going to work big. Braden Tatro going towards the corner of the end zone, and he has himself a 36-yard touchdown. But hold the phone. There is dirty laundry on the field. Most likely, I would assume, we're going to be looking at a hold here. Let's see. We're getting the clock time back up, right? And we do. It is a touchdown. It was against the defense, actually. So, 6 nothing for number two, Wind River. Point after pending. Um, it was thrown right in the vicinity, right at the line of scrimmage. So, you assume to hold. It is against the defense, and it will be declined. So, 6 nothing, Wind River here at the 921 mark in the first quarter. That means Braden Tatro's 34-yard run up the uh, off left tackle is going to be good for the touchdown. Of course, Wind River always going for two here. Cooper Frederick will line up at quarterback for the two-point play. He's got two wide receivers left stacked pretty close to the line. One on the near side. Whistled into play here. Of course, it's untimed as a conversion. Frederick eyes the defense line, the snap. He's going to roll to his right. He's cut off. Now he's under big-time pressure. He rolls right again, puts it up wide open. Conversion. Find, 
finding Joaquin Stevens in the back of the end zone. You can only ask if you're the Buffs for a guy to cover so much and for so long. And Cooper Frederick finding Stevens wide open after giving up about 10 yards. 9.21 to go in the first. It is 8 to nothing in favor of the hometown Cougars. We'll be right back on KWYW 99.1 The Heat. Chance to get the payment you deserve. Visit Atlantic City Federal Credit Union today for a courtesy loan review. We've helped our members save money by refinancing their vehicle with us. Now it's your turn. Open your eyes to a credit union. Atlantic City Federal Credit Union. 381 subs and salad. When your car or truck is an investment, what it needs. When you purchase your car, do you know if you got the best payment possible? The answer is probably no. Oftentimes, your loan is packed with additional charges that can drive your monthly payment higher than it should be, costing you thousands of dollars more for your car. Hi, this is Patty, and here is your second chance to get the payment you deserve. Visit Atlantic City Federal Credit Union today for a courtesy loan review. We've helped our members save money by refinancing their vehicle with us. Now it's your turn. Open your eyes to a credit union. Atlantic City Federal Credit Union. And welcome back to KWYW 99.1 and Wire Today Media's coverage of the Fremont County Game of the Week. The With 9.21 to go in the first, the Wind River Cougars lead the Grable Buffs 8 to nothing. Teeing it up will be, and I, of course, not got his number yet again. <laughs> I didn't have it last week. Is number 51. The kicker who we mentioned last week, I'll get that confirmed again. It's going to be a low kick. It's going to go on the ball. It's wide open, and finally somebody is able to pick it up for Grable, and they're going to get to about the 46-yard line. Not an overly deep kick there. And that is where Grable will take over, about the same place they took over when they kicked it off. All right, that was Kaisea Jones, actually. I think we noticed that last time, that he's not 55, he's 51. So, 51, Kaisea Jones. And going out of, oh, a wing T. Nice to see there. And all sorts of jumping. All sorts of jumping by Wind River. That'll be offsides by the Cougars, and that will take it from first and ten to first and five from the Cougars' own 49. So a mistake there. So we're going to see a little bit of option here, or quite a bit of option. Not many teams run a little bit of option. So, again, wishbone formation, actually. Excuse me, I knew I'd remember it at some point in time, Connor. Wishbone, snap, hands it to the fullback. He's going to get to the 45. He's at the 44, 43. He's a load to take down, and he finally does get taken down after a first down. It's going to be a gain of about eight. It'll be at the 43-yard line of Wind River, so... The rushing attack of Grable already showing it on their first offensive possession after they tried to steal one last time with the onside kick. Going from the wishbone. Hands off again to the fullback. He's a load to take down. He's at the 40 to the 35 as he hurdles the down man all the way to the 30-yard line. And they're going to say he went out at the third. Yep, the third, right at the 30. Looks like another first down. So it'll be another first down, two handoffs to the big bruising fullback and able to get first downs on both of them. So Grable definitely moving the ball here and relatively easily. Breaking the huddle is the Buffs. They're coming out again in the wishbone. Will they hand it to him a third time? Nope, this time they'll go with the pitch going to the right. It's sealed off, but unable to get the tackle until a gain of about two and a half to three yards for the Buffs. That's the first time they have not gone to the fullback, and they were able to get, let's see here, they're going to get all the way down to the 28, so about two, two and a half yard line, or two and a half yards, excuse me. So it'll be second down and eight for the Buffs.
Their quarterback is Caden Hunt. Hunt. In the wishbone, he's going to hand off this time to one of the tailbacks, and he's going to rush forward to about the 24-yard line where he'll set up a third and a long three, a long two and a half. A long two, we'll call it. So they, they were able to work their way with uh, number 24, Isaac Gayton. And now since they've gone around, away from him and gone to the tailbacks, the 10-yard gains have kind of dried up. But he's come back in the game. He was a little bit winded. Hunt under center in the wishbone. Takes the snap, hands it to guess who? Gayton, and he's going to be left a little bit short, I think. We'll see here. That is a more than just a little bit short, about a two full yards short. But, of course, this will most likely be four down territory. I would assume it would be. I'm, I'm, I'm just not thinking that we're going to see a 41-yard field goal attempt. So the crowd trying to get into it, be loud for homecoming and for the Cougs as it will be fourth and two to go. It'll be fourth and two in the wishbone. Hunt under center. Takes it. Fakes it. Rolling right. Looking to pass. He throws and it is complete. So that'll move the chains there. That is what I don't think anybody was expecting okay, was a completion a by Hunt to, Rod to Jesus Rodriguez, the senior, at the 14-yard line. So they move the chains. It'll be first and 10 from the 14 in the red zone here. Eight to nothing in favor of Wind River with 620 and counting. Well, 617, 616 to go in the first from the wishbone. Hunt takes the snap, hands it to Gayton. Gayton sealed off this time, and they're going to get him and swallow him up for a loss. Let's see how much they say he lost. They're going to say back at the 16, so a loss of two. Gang tackling there by the Cougars, and, boy, they have to gang tackle to get Isaac Gayton down. He is a strong fullback, as we saw in his previous two runs. So they sealed him off and then tackled as a group. Good job by the Cougars. Hunt breaking the huddle. Going to bring him up in the wishbone again. Hunt under center is going to hand to one of the tailbacks. He's got down to about the 10-yard line, and we see a late flag. Flag on the play. Let's see what the flag was for. Holding. It's going to be holding, so you're going to back him up. Instead of first and 12, it's going to be first and 22. So after a good drive so far, the Buffs are really hurting themselves here. Um, on the running game, they've just kind of gone away from the up the middle and gone a little wide. But with penalty and a loss of yards, we're now going to see first and about forever as it will be first. For, it should be first and 22, not second and 12. But, okay, they're going to have second and 22. Home, oh, we got a referee timeout for a shoe tied. That shouldn't have been a loss of down. Or it wasn't a loss of down. Second and 22, excuse me. Second and 22. Second and a long way to go. It, it is a long way to go indeed. So the pit, they're going to hand off out of the wishbone. Going to the left, he's sealed up. He fights to just get to the 30. To get, they're going to say the 31, or 21, excuse me. To get about three yards. So it'll set up third down and an absolute country mile for Grable. They showed they could pass on the last fourth down they had. Of course, it was fourth and two, not third and 17. Going from just shy of the 20-yard line, just outside the red zone, they're going to go with Hunt in the shotgun. Now, the question will be, is is Caden Hunt comfortable in this? And it's a horrible snap. Ten feet over the head and recovered by Wind River. Wind River with the recovery. They, you can tell the snapper's not comfortable in shotgun as well. So, turnover. Recovered by Wind River, and when I say that thing was high, ladies and gentlemen, I don't think you quite get it. Minute Bowl, for those of us over 40, couldn't reach that. A bad snap, and Wind River right on top of it, kind of shocking the buffs, and Wind River guy didn't ever break stride, didn't even pause to look at it, just dove right on top of it. 
So now we're going to see Chris Burke coming as quarterback. So we expect a run here. There is going to be a handoff, and they're going to muscle all the way to the 45-yard line. Gain of seven. So it'll set up the second and three for Wind River. Oh, seven-yard gain on the play. Second down. Nice gain there. It'll be second and three. And if Chris Burke in that offense is able to run the running formations and Cooper's able to pass, this could be a long night for the Buffs. Coming to the line again, Burke under center with the power eye behind him. He's going to take the snap. He's going to hand off to the tailback, Fre Cooper Frederick, and he's going to get, well, maybe about six inches. They're going to say it's no game. Officials actually staying a little bit ahead of it, so we'll say a slight game, but still third and a very long two or a very short three, one of the two. So that did not work at 332 to play in the first quarter. Eight nothing Cougars. Let's see who's lining up at the QB position this time. It is going to be Chris Burke, Frederick Cooper's the far tailback. Going to hand it to one of the upbacks, and he's going to gain the first down. Let's see if we can lay an eyes on the number there. Brandon on the play. Gives us the first down. Ball placed on the... Okay, can't lay an eye on the number there. It's going to be on the 49-yard line of the Buffs. First down for the Cougars. Cougars looking to extend their lead as high as 16 to nothing. Going out of the running formation with, with Burke. Burke's going to keep it. No, he's going to hand it off, actually. To No, he's going to keep it. Excuse me. And he's going to curl around, and he's going to gain the – they're going to give him the 43-and-a-half-yard line. That will be a gain of six-and-a-half and set up another second and three. So first down being very critical and very successful for this Cougar offense. And the Buffs have got to find a way, if they want to stay in this game, I think, to stop this running attack because they will be perfectly happy to have Chris Burke in there and go from the power eye. Power eye again. He's going to hand to the fullback this time, and he's going to be right at the first down. Let's see here, waiting for a signal. Looks like they're going to say he's short. Snyder on the carry. They're going to say he's all of six inches short. It'll be third and very, very short. I don't anticipate that Wind River will have much difficulty here. Coming out of the power eye, Burke under center. Looking to blitz. Burke's going to keep it. He doesn't get it first. Now he cuts through the middle. He was held up, and now he's going to go all the way untouched after he got past the line for a 40-yard touchdown. Chris Burke. Chris Burke goes 40 yards. And no flags on the play. No flags on the play. It was interesting because he was held up right at the line, and then he got right past it, and he is clear sailing. No linebacker, no safety came close to touching him as they had loaded the box. So with a minute 30 to go in the first quarter, it is 14 to nothing in favor of Wind River. Of course, they will go for two here. I think we're going to see Cooper Frederick at quarterback, but we do not know yet. Um, he did quarterback the last two-point conversion, and he is here. He's going to go out of the gun. Two wide receivers tight to the line on the near side, one on the far. Far side receiver goes in motion, and it's a horrible snap, and he's going to have to go back and no advancing on that, so that'll do it. It'll end 14 to nothing here with a minute 30 to go. It won't end, but with a minute 30 to go in the first quarter. We'll be right back on KWYW The E. 381 Subs and Salads is the newest addition to Fremont County. They offer salads, sandwiches, ice cream, and lotus drinks. 
381 Subs and Salads is located at 702 East Main Street in Riverton. Central Wyoming College now offers Bachelor of Applied Science degrees in early childhood education and organizational management and leadership with an emphasis in outdoor education, tribal leadership, or business and entrepreneurial leadership. CWC offers three ways to learn, online, virtual, and in person. Learn, grow, lead, and advance at Central Wyoming College. CWC is leading the way with expanded programs in the Bachelor of Applied Science degree. And welcome back to the Fremont County Game of the Week on Wild Today Media and 99.1 KWYW Heat. It is 14-0 in favor of the hometown number two, Wind River Cougars. They scored on a 40-yard run by uh, Burke on third down and short, missing on the two-point conversion with a bad snap. Onside kick here. It's on the ground, and Wind River has it. Onside kick recovered by the Cougars. Wind River with the onside kick recovery. So they will have the ball here yet again and look for them to pound it down the middle and pound it with that running game as they've already started to show signs of where does the Grable defense. So it's going to be first and 10 from the 46 of Grable. This game could very much get out of hand quickly for the Buffs if they cannot find a way to stop the Wind River Cougars here. So now it's going to be Cooper Frederick's turn, maybe a little bit of an air raid attack. Going from the gun, three receivers out, two near, one going in motion to far. Snap, Burke's going deep. He's got number five. Oh, and he just had stopped his route a little bit. A um, little bit confusing there. He was trying to get it to Burke, who's playing tight end and receiver when he's not at quarterback. So incomplete. And to add insult to injury, flag on the play. Holding it's going to be holding against the Cougars. It will be accepted. So we'll mark off 10 yards. It'll go all the way to the 44-yard line. Big damaging penalty there. 10-yard variety. So, so from the spot of the foul, it's going to be second, first and 20 here with a minute 22 to go in the first quarter. Cooper Frederick going out of the gun. Receiver in motion, three of them in total. He's under pressure. He's going to roll out to his right. He's going to stop at the line. He's going to try and circle back. Now he's coming to his left, and he's got guys open. He's going to complete it to Blade. Uh, no, excuse me. He's going to complete it to Blake Snyder, who's going to get a huge gain all the way down to the 34. Excuse me, 35 is where they're going to spot him out. So it'll be first and 10 for the Cougars. Probably not how Coach Frederick designed it up. Cooper going right, then circle back left against the pressure and threw against his body to an open tight end who was able to rumble for 20-some-odd yards. About 22 there on the gain. Why did we start the clock and then stop it? I do not know. So snap from the shotgun, 16 going in motion. This time, Burt is, no, excuse me, Cooper's going to take it, and he's going to run with it. He's going to reach it all the way down to about the 26-and-a-half-yard line. It'll be a gain of nine, and the Wind River attack is starting to just wear this defense out. That was probably the reason for the onside kick, we would assume. Second and one, Buffs trailing the Cougars 14 to nothing. Needing to find a way, if you're a Buffs fan, for them to get a stop here. If you're a Cougars fan, you want them to just keep going. We're still in the first quarter, too. As we go under 30 seconds to play, Cooper out of the gun. Two wide on the far side. The one on the near side is going to go in motion. We got an immediate flag. They don't stop it, though. Frederick going to put it up towards the end zone and broken up. Nice pass defense. Let's see what the flag is. It's going to be illegal shift against the Cougars. 
So the touchdown wouldn't have mattered, but great defensive play by the defensive back for the Buffs. So we're going to go from second and one. We'll repeat the down. Going to be a five-yard penalty. It's going to be, they've only marked it off five or four yards. It's at the 30, first down to be held at 24. So about second and six after third and one. Second down, five yards. So second and six, out of the gun, two near and one far as far as wide receivers go. Looking over the lines, Frederick, man going in motion. He's going to roll out to his right. He's under intense pressure, and he's going to be taken down for a sack by 24, that being Isaac Gaten, the fullback. Frederick brought down by Gaten for a loss. Okay, they let it go, then they didn't. It's going to be a huge loss as it's going to basically set up third and ten. So after the first down, they just went backwards. That's the end of the first quarter. Cougars lead 14 to nothing over the visiting Buffs of Grable on this homecoming weekend. We'll be right back with more of the Wind River Cougars and the Fremont County Game of the Week here on KWYW 99.1 The Heat. Is proud to sponsor our youth athletics in Fremont County. Fremont County School Athletics provide our youth timeless experiences and lessons that can lead to success for life. Setting goals, teamwork, and hard work make young athletes into good citizens. When repairs are complete after a collision, you expect your car, SUV, or truck to look like new. That's the service you'll receive at Stork Auto Body in Riverton. Professionalism and meticulous attention to detail. You can depend on Stork Auto Body, 841 Miniweb Avenue, Riverton. The choice is yours. Sutherland's Friends of the Family Plus Consumer Credit Card lets you choose from 5% off instantly at the register or special financing on qualifying purchases. That means no forms, no waiting, no rebates. You can choose 5% off instantly with your Sutherland's Credit Card. Got a big project? Choose special financing. The choice is yours with Sutherland's Friends of the Family Plus Consumer Credit Card. Subject to credit approval, minimum monthly payment required. See store for details only at Sutherland's. And welcome back to the Fremont County Game of the Week. We are back. It's 14 0 start of the second quarter in favor of Wind River. And they've got third and 10. Reminder, they had it second and one, less than six inches. And penalties and a sack, a penalty and a sack, legal shift and then the sack, have caused them to go backwards. So it will be. Cooper Frederick going out of the gun. He's got one receiver on the far side, two on the near. Every time they've set up in this formation, one of the rod receivers has gone in motion, primarily the slot guy where Joaquin Stevens right now sits. So we've got some sort of timeout on the field. I'm not sure what. So going back to the huddle is Wind River. Buffs decide just to stay in their defensive set. They're in a bit of about a 3-3, three, three, one safety and two cornerbacks. Or three cornerbacks, excuse me. So more of a 3-2 here. Going out of the gun, man in motion as they flopped it to the other side. And Frederick, I mean, excuse me, Cooper Frederick is going to be under great duress. And he's going to be hit out of bounds or guided out of bounds, I should say, not hit. That would be illegal. Uh, but he's forced out of bounds after a loss of two. So from second and one all the way back to fourth and 12, what will Wind River do here is going to be the question. Um, I would assume go for it, and you would assume they'd have to go to the air here with 11 and a half minutes to go in the half. Breaking the huddle, Cooper Frederick going to go out of the gun they're going to have one far, that being Joaquin, and they're going to be tight in the line or the other two receivers. Stevens in motion, snap. He's going to go left. Now he's under pressure again. 
Cooper Frederick going to keep it. He's going to throw it. Yes. Caught by Joaquin Stevens, and he's going to take it all the way in. And that was very close to being past the line of scrimmage. But it is a touchdown nonetheless. Great catch by Joaquin Stevens. And you got to give Cooper Frederick credit for just putting it up. But I do believe Cooper Frederick may have been past the line of scrimmage when he threw that. So let's see if that's the call we get. No, that's not the that's not what we're gonna get. It's gonna go against Grable again. And we got another flag, and I have no idea what for now. Um got a sideline warning against Grable. And oh, sideline warning against Wind River, excuse me. So just trying to figure out. Okay, it's a sideline infraction. Or a sideline warning, excuse me, not infraction. Next one would be an infraction, so the flag really bit, meant nothing. So Wind River on Joaquin Stevens' catch, their great job by Cooper Frederick. Just put it up on fourth down where his receiver could go make a play, and boy, did Stevens make a play. Coming out now, it is going to be Burke out of the power eye for the two-point conversion. He's going to toss it and going far side. And is he going to get in? Let's see here. No. They're going to say Cooper Frederick did not make the goal line, did not cross the plane, so it'll be no good. 11 minutes, dead even to go in the half. It is 20 to nothing in favor of the Wind River Cougars. We'll be right back with more of the rest of the first half here on KWYW 99.1 The Heat. At Teton Therapy, our people make the difference. You can live pain free. The amazing staff at Teton Therapy can help in Lander and Riverton. From the wide opens. And welcome back to KWYW 99.1 Fremont County Game of the Week on the Heat. And it is 20 to nothing. Wind River dominating right now this homecoming week matchup against the Grable Buffs. So. It was a sideline warn. I'm kind of confused now. There was a penalty. They called it against everybody, seemingly. Sideline warning against both teams and then a flag. Could not catch out what it made. What it does mean, though, is the extra, uh, excuse me, the kickoff will be done by Kaziah Jones at, <laughs> at the Buffs 45. So let's see what they try. It may be an onside kick here again. Jones approaches it, and he's going to kick it, and it's going to go into the end zone for a touchback. touchback. Only thought they might do the onsides again just because after 10 yards, it would not be – it'd be good field position defensively. So Buffs will take the ball out on the 20, not the 35-yard line because the ball did not go out of bounds. <laughs> so from the 20-yard line, it'll be first and 10. For the Buffs, Buffs needing something, at least very minimal if you're the Buffs. You need this wishbone offense to use some time up. Caden going out, he's going to hand it to the fullback, and he's going to find it very hard stretch of running. Hunt gave it to – excuse me. Hunt gave it off to Gaten. Gaten only gained about one and a half, two yards. So very minimal gain, but if they can get the first down, the Buffs will be happy. they got to keep their defense off the field. From the wishbone, Hunt gets the snap. Going to hand it off to one of his tailbacks, and he's going to gain nothing. No gain at all for Wyatt Dittrickson, the junior running back there, and it sets up third and eight. Third and eight. Third and eight, long way to go, and the Buffs and Coach Shiplett need to make this happen. 
they need to make it happen if you are listening and you're a Buffs fan, which probably most aren't listening to Fremont County Game of the Week. But Hunt going under center in the wishbone. He's going to hand it one of his tailbacks, and oh, my. Oh, me, oh, my. Blake Snyder said absolutely not and tackled him for a loss of two and a half yards. He read that play like it was a script written just for him. So it's set fourth down, and they are going to have to punt. Isaac Gayton is going to be the punter. He's standing at the nine, and we already saw a snap from the shotgun go awry. Let's see how this long snap goes. You've got two uh, returners, one of those being number 15, Aiden Ruby. Can't see who the other number is. That might be Joaquin Stevens, though it is. And we have a timeout by the Buffaloes. So we'll take it with them as we got some bills to pay here on KWYW 99.1 The Heat. It is 20 to nothing. All Wind River Cougars. You. Wyoming.com is reaching more homes and businesses than ever before. For more than 25 years, we've aimed to provide the best internet and phone service to meet the needs of our customers all across the great state of Wyoming. Now it's getting even better. Wyoming.com, expanding to an area near you. Wyoming.com, we're out there. Bailey's Enterprises is a proud sponsor of Riverton Wolverines football. For over 50 years, Bailey's has become the name you can trust. With pit stop travel centers, you can fuel up and stock up on trip snacks at locations all over Fremont County. You can also put your trust in Bailey Tire and Auto for service and to keep handy for those times when your luck runs out on the road. Refresh at the Speedway Cafe with a dine-in meal or a round of carry-out with a variety of specials to keep you going. Go with Bailey, go Wolverines. All right, so we're back. You did miss a play. We wanted to let that commercial finish. Fake punt as Aiden decided to... I, I don't get what I just watched. Um, going for the fake, Isaac Gayton ran to the left. He gained about a yard, maybe two. So it'll be first and 10 Cougars from the Buffalo 25. This is, this is not good, <laughs> to say the least. So going to go from the gun. It is going to be Cooper Frederick back at quarterback. Man going in motion. He's going to hand it to Stevens. Stevens going to the right. He splits through two blockers. Now he's going to run over a guy and just got held by the ankle. Nice open field tackle by Jesus, Jesus Rodriguez. He, he hung on for dear life as... Whew, as Joaquin Stevens was literally running over him. With 9.07 to play and 20 nothing lead, it's going to be first and goal for the nine as Joaquin Stevens wanted his second touchdown of the evening. So coming out, it is going to be Cooper Frederick still at quarterback. And the reason I keep telling you all this is they do rotate him in, just not series, but every play. Joaquin going in motion, low snap, so Cooper has to field it. And the Red Sea parted until the safety took him down at the one-yard line. Low snap forced Frederick to have to take off up the middle. Um, and, well, like I said, the Red Sea parted there. He gained about the, they're going to say the two-yard line-ish. Um, say his knee went down before the one and it was just the safety who could stop him here with 8.17 to play in the first half. Wind River knocking looking to make this 26 to nothing right here. Going Hunt, excuse me, Frederick in the backfield. He's going to try and keep it himself and he swarmed over but does a good job of keeping his mind about him, keeping his knees up and dives down inside the two yard line to at least get Indeed, some for progress. So he'll set up third and goal here. The students getting involved now with the Here We Go Cougars here on homecoming weekend. Beautiful night. It has The temperature has gone down quite a bit as the sun has gone down. Out of the power eye, this time Burke back there. Burke's going to hand it off, and oh, was he met. And there's a fumble. A fumble's going to go over to the visitors oh, from Grable. 
Turnover. Unfortunately, the handoff was to Frederick, I do mark. believe, and he was popped and dropped the ball right there at the two-yard line. So it'll go over to the Buffs. What a defensive stand that they had to have if you're a Buffs fan and you're a Grable fan. But they have to do something to move these chains. Their defense is exhausted. It found a way there. But right now, Wind River is dominating the line of scrimmage. Going out of the wishbone from their own end zone. And they've got all sorts of problems. They don't have enough people on the field, so they're going to call a timeout here. We'll take it with them. 20 to nothing. Wind River will be back here on KWYW 99.1 The Heat. Want access to local news, sports, events, and more? Download the Wyo Today app. Now available on all platforms. Stream your favorite radio station, submit something to buy, sell, or trade for deals on the dial, or view contests and special coupons. Better yet, the Wyo Today app is the best way to access free HD video of Fremont and Hot Springs County Athletics. It's all at your fingertips. Head to your app store or visit yotoday.com to download the Yo Today app now. Wind River Family and Community Healthcare has clinics located in Arapahoe, Ethity, and Riverton. We provide family medical services along with dental, optometry, behavioral health, physical and occupational therapy, and more. Our in-house lab and pharmacy at all locations make for a one-stop primary health care center for your health care needs. Wind River Family and Community Healthcare is striving for a stronger, healthier community because Wind River Cares. More information can be found at windrivercares.com. And welcome back on first and 10 from their own goal line. They lose a yard. <laughs> they lose a yard. It was first and 10 from about their three. And Grable is going to lose traction there and they've got to find a way to eat some clock and get this going we forgot to start the clock there we're trying to do introduce the clock this year and it's been a bit of success and a bit of miss it's hard to do all things at one time so it's under seven minutes we'll catch it up in a minute out of the wishbone on second and ten going on a pitch he's going to get the five yard line and that is going to be number 46 who's going to gain about the five before going out that being Wyatt Didrickson and he goes out of bounds to stop the clock here. He's going to gain the 10-yard line, so it'll be third and about three to go, and now we'll be able to make up some time here and get the clock back situated. There we go, 6.51 to go. Third and three from the Buffs' own 10 out of the wishbone. Hunt coming under center. Long count, makes the count, and we've got a flag right away. That should be movement. It is a legal procedure. So it'll be half the distance to the goal, which will go from the five, which will set up about a third and eight. So third and eight for the Buffs. They did not help themselves out there whatsoever. Hunt is going to try and get things going forward. And just for correction, I'll get the rest of the way. Isaac Gatton is number 24. It's not pronounced Gatney. It's spelled that way. That's why I was calling it that way. But it's Gatton. So from the snap, it's going to be a pitch. And he's going to get out to the 10. It's going to be really close. Really close. And it's going to be a first down. Yep, they're going to move the chains there. Had to make the 13. They're going to give him... The 14, it looks like, about the 13-and-a-half-yard line, so enough to get the first down. So it'll be first and 10 from the 14 of the Buffs. Buffs just trying to find something to slow down our Wind River Cougars. Out of the wishbone, Hunt's going to take it. He's going to pitch. Running back's going to go to the left is Joel Miller, and he's not going to gain much. In fact, when I say he doesn't gain much, he's me it's going to be measured in inches, not in feet. So it'll be second down and 10 for the, I almost said the Colorado Buffs, Connor, for the Grable Buffs. So from the wishbone, Hunt under center. 
takes it, hands off to Gatan. Gatan is going to get wrapped up low, nicely done. He's only going to gain a yard out to the 15, so it'll set up third and nine with under about five minutes, probably 15 or 5'10 to go at that point in time when the snap happens. This wishbone offense is not built. It never was built. College at any level to come back. Hunt takes the snap, fakes it. Now he's going to have to roll. He's going to be chased down, but he's going to get free, but he's eventually going to get sacked for no gain. As we go under five minutes to go, it'll set up a fourth and nine. So after the first down by the Buffs, they're not able to get any further, and Wind River will be in a punting situation or punt return receiving situation, punt return situation. Joaquin Stevens going back, as is Aiden Ruby. So let's see here. Will Gatan fake it again? I would think not, but it could happen. Gatan gets the snap. He's rolling. This time he's going to punt it, and it's going to bounce at the Buffs 45 and roll to Joaquin Stevens. He's going to break one tackle. He's going to get all the way, about a five, six-yard gain, all very physical the whole way as he's going to gain the 47-yard line of the Buffs. So, 419 to go in the half. We'll take the break with him. It's 20 to nothing. Wind River on top right now here on 99.1. KWYW, the Heat. From one corner of the state to the other, over 82% of Wyomingites wear their seatbelts. And to the 18% who don't, we say, let's buckle up for life, Wyoming. Coming out of the gun and out of the halftime. Oh, we didn't mean to do that one. Frederick going to roll, and he's going to find an open Aiden Ruby for the reception. He's going to gain about seven, set up a second and three. And now our time clock is way off. Trying to do everything as we come out of this. Four minutes and actually under four now to go second and three from the 40. By the just the pace of how this uh, huddle is going, I'm going to expect that Frederick will be in to have the pass option here. As you know, when River and Coach Frederick want to put up another six. Frederick from the gun. He's got two wide far, one wide near. That's, Steve, uh, that's Joaquin. Joaquin going in motion. Bad snap. Frederick has to go back for it. He picks it up and he's got all day to move, but he's going to throw deep to a wide open man and caught! Caught at the five or six yard line is where they're going to whistle it down. Frederick to Ruby. Ruby with the catch. Let's see where they There's spot it. It's going to be just outside the five. First and goal for Win River. No need to move the chains here, but we do get the spot, the chain that spot, or the post that spots it. So they'll whistle it in here, oh, waiting for it. Have. Somebody has lost a towel. It was one of the buffs. Head referee going to head it, hand it back to him. They whistle the clock in, and immediately coming out of the huddle is the Wind River Cougars. Frederick. They broke all sorts of quarterback rules technically with that throw, but it was wide open. Evans going in motion, and now he's going to get sacked for a huge loss just outside the 10. Cooper Frederick had no way of getting away from that one. Um, they they just came right through the line for the sack, and that's going to set up second and goal from the 12. So not going the direction they want to go. After the sack there, and it was it, it was it was a gang tackle and probably a a group mistake by the offensive line of Wind River. Breaking the huddle, Frederick really wanting to put six up here as we go under 240 to play in the half. He's got two near that are in tight. Stevens up top, he fakes in motion. Now under duress again is Frederick. Frederick throwing to the end zone, incomplete. Incomplete. The camera guy for Wind River screaming here next to me for P.I., but that would have been pretty ticky-tack, Val. Um, but the Wind River suddenly having a very hard time against this offensive line 
or defensive line, excuse me, for the Buffs. Two plays in a row. They have put Frederick under extreme duress. 226 to play. Wind River up 20 to nothing. Looking at third and goal from the 12. Breaking the huddle. Frederick going to go out of the gun. He's going to have two out wide on the near side, one on the far side. And we're going to get a timeout with 2.26 to go by Coach Frederick. We'll take him with take it with him. Cougars lead 20 to nothing over the Grable Buffs. We'll be back on KWYW The Heat. Stone Energy Cooperative. What does that mean for you as a Rural Electric Association member? It all comes down to seven principles. Open membership, one voice, one vote, member benefits, independence, education, cooperation, and community. To understand how it all works, we're headed back in time. In 1879, electricity was in major cities, but rural areas were out of luck. In 1935, President FDR made it possible for companies to build power lines to unserved areas. By the time we hit 1941, some 400 electric co-ops had been organized to serve rural America, just like High Plains Power. For more information, visit highplainspower.org. We believe. And welcome back to the Fremont County Game of the Week, presented by Y of Today Media and 99.1 KWYW The Heat. Wind River Cougars lead 20 to nothing over the Gray Bull Buffs currently. And they are driving, but they do have a long third down. Um, they had it down at the, about the five-yard line, first and goal. Now it's going to be third and goal from about the 12-yard line with 2.26 to play in the game. Going from the gun, snap is to Frederick. Frederick's going to look to the corner. Touchdown, Wind River Cougars. Touchdown. So Wind River Cougars find the back of the end zone for the fourth time this half, and it is 26 to nothing on the little fade there. Nicely done by Cooper Frederick. So let's try and get this time back right. For some reason, my clock is different than theirs, and I'm short this time. So we're going to go back here and get it right back as we can here at 226, which is what we left with. So I don't think they started the clock actually to start that up. So two-point conversion here. Um, been a mixed bag so far, one of three on two-point conversions today. Uh, both quarterbacks, Burke and Frederick, have missed one. Um, on the conversion, have been under center, I should say. And we have another timeout. This one by the Cougars. We'll take it with them. Be right back. 26 0 Win River here on KWYW The Heat. Including us. Hi, I'm Brian Robacher, CEO of Atlantic City Federal Credit Union. And if we said no to you in the past, I'm asking you for a second chance too. In the midst of everything happening, we are committed now more than ever to second chances and when it comes to your finances. An auto loan for your new car, business loans, home loans, and more. Give Atlantic City Federal Credit Union a second chance to give you a second chance. We've been helping our community thrive since 1964, and now it's your turn. Visit AtlanticCity.coop to apply today. Atlantic City Federal Credit Union, federally insured by the NCUA. Welcome back to the KWYW 99.1, the Heat Game of the Week. Wind River now going for two points here. They're one of three on the day. Frederick in, he's going to look, and now he's going to take off. He's cut off from the lane he wanted, but able to pop it outside, and he is going to convert on the two-point. So they're 50% from that today, and it is 28 to nothing with 226 to play in the first half. I know this has been a lot of commercials back-to-back, -back, but we'll take the break with them. Be right back on KWYW The Heat. Wyoming Waste hopes that all Fremont County sports teams dismiss their opponents like Wyoming Waste dismisses your trash. They offer services from roll-off cans, commercial, and residential garbage. Wyoming Waste Services, Fremont County, Hot Springs County, Washakie County. They are open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Please call 307-856-5354 or stop down at the Riverton office, 730 South Broadway. Wyoming Waste wants to wish everyone in Fremont County good luck in their sports this year.
And welcome back to KWYW, The Heat. It is the Fremont County Game of the Week between the Wind River Cougars and the Grey Bull Buffs, and it's been all Wind River on their homecoming today. And this week, as they are up 28 nothing with 2.26 to play in the first half, Kaziah Jones going to tee it up uh, from the 40. We've seen onside kicks attempted by both teams. Buffs, unfortunately, didn't go 10 yards, went seven. Wind River able to nullify that and score on that possession, well, ha as they have pretty much every possession. Kaziah, jo Kaziah Jones, though, was successful with the onsides. Let's see what we get here. And it's going to be a low worm burner, as they would say. Up back, struggles with it. Picks up the 22. He's out to the 30, 32, 35, 36-yard line. They might give him the 37. Let's see. They're going to give him the – yes, they indeed. They're going to give him the 37. The 37-yard line, first and 10. It'll be first and 10. And now the question isn't can you give your defense a break? Can you find a way somehow to get six points here in a hurry when you run the wishbone? As we said in the pregame, they only average 57 yards passing per game, and they're nowhere near that today. Really nothing on the gain of passing except for one first down. From the wishbone, Hunt under center, going to take it. He's going to hand to Guy. Uh, Gatan, excuse me, who's going to gain about four or five. Nicely tackle. done there. Kaiser Jones with the tackle at the 42. So it'll set up second and five. But we're about to go under two minutes to go. And the wishbone course, that's always been the one weakness of it. Of it, the veer, the wing tee, has been the fact that it's not meant to come from behind. And if you get behind, you're in trouble. Oh, and uh, just go through fumble on the ground as he went for the handoff. I don't think he knew it was coming. And number three, wow, Blake Snyder just blew that up, coming right through the offensive line and gets him all the way back to the 36-yard line. So it's going to be – or 37-yard line. So it's going to set third and ten as we're about to go under a minute and a half to play in the half. From the wishbone, I don't – think that Wind River has any timeouts left, so that would be a problem. They're going to hand it off. No, they're going to keep it, and he's going to go wide, and he's going to lose a, several is Hunt. He's going to go wide, and he's going to get tackled at the 35, loss of two. And it doesn't look like they're looking to uh, stop the clock at all is Wind River. Like I said, I don't believe they have any more timeouts. That's on me for not keeping up with them. So one punt returner back. Punt is going to be Bugaton. He's going to keep it. He's going to – no, he's going to do the rugby-style thing, and it's going to be taken. Weird catch there, and he's going to go out of bounds with 35 seconds left. That, that was one weird catch for a punt, but it was successfully executed by Joaquin Stevens. They're going to say he went out at the 39. Kind of interested to see what Coach Frederick decides to do here. We'll kind of know it right away based on the quarterback. So we do have a score, which is... 26 to 7, Big Piney leading Shoshone. Is that a final? Final from there. That game, of course, starting at 4 o'clock. So Big Piney not racking up as much as people thought they would. But good job by Shoshone to keep that game in check. Going out of the gun, Frederick, man in motion, all three on one side. He's going to look to throw it short. He gets it complete to number 20, who's going to get out of bounds. With 27 seconds left, that was Rowdy Shearer, the six foot five senior, running back, linebacker, and cor and corner. <laughs> hey, Rowdy, out of With that height, I guess so. Eight yards. <laughs> gonna second gain down. eight. It's gonna set up second and two, but 27 seconds, seconds left on the clock in the half here. Trying to find a way to get to 34 to nothing. Coming out of the, out of the huddle in the gun, one on the step, uh, one in the slot, step back. Now he's going to go in motion. All three wide receivers on the near side. 
Frederick's going to have to take off running. He's past the 50. He's at the 45. Now he's at the 40, 35, 34, 33, to the 30, and down around the 26-yard line with about 16, 17 seconds left. So they'll move the chain. Got to go, got to go is what the coaches are saying. They're standing right next to us. Quickly moving, but there the clock gets set in motion before anything happens. Man in motion, 10 seconds left. Snap goes to Frederick. Frederick going to look deep and incomplete. And it may have been for best as far as the clock goes, as I almost choke on my own words there. Five seconds left. How good an arm does Frederick have is now the question. Can he get it? The Will he be able to get it into the end zone? It is. It was first and 10 from the 27-yard line, so you'd think he would. Let's see what the play call is and what the formation looks like. Frederick breaking the huddle. He's in the gun. He's got one far, that being Chris Burke and Stevens and Aiden, Ru, Aiden Ruby back. Pressure on him. He's going to run. He's going to throw it to the end zone. Just out of reach. And that will be the half. So at half here on homecoming week at Wind River, it is 28 to nothing. All in favor of the Cougars. We're going to, as they will be doing the royalty thing and all that fun stuff, we're going to take a little bit of an extended break. And we'll be right back here on KWYW 99.1 The Heat. If your vehicle needs repair you can depend on the crew at extra care auto repair they can repair almost anything with wheels gas diesel domestic or import and their work is top quality and reliable extra care auto repair on north federal in riverton back when i was riding in rodeos i always made sure i was locked in good and tight now as a touring musician crisscrossing the country I still make sure I'm locked in, good and tight. Of course I do. Buckle up for life, Wyoming. Enjoy fresh made pizza, pasta, calzones, and subs at Perrette's, 519 West Main in Riverton. Open for lunch and dinner Monday through Friday. Closed on weekends. Call 857-7306 to order for pickup or delivery with DoorDash. Peretz. The Stock Doc is proud to serve all of Fremont County and surrounding areas. They are dedicated to providing the highest level of veterinarian medicine along with friendly and compassionate service. They service all pets of shapes and sizes between dogs and cows and cats and horses. They treat your animal like it's their own. The Stock Doc. Midway is at an all-out clear-out for the new 2022 campers with the best price guarantee. Midway has financing with no money down, no payments for the rest of the year. Low, low interest rates on sweet fifth wheel. Dealer incentives up to 25000 on toy haulers. Top dollar on trade-ins and door-to-door -door delivery. It's Midway's all-out clear-out. MidwayCampers.com. Midway, when you expect the best. You need an oil change, but you don't have a lot of time. Expressway Lubes on South Federal in Riverton and Highway 789 in Lander provide a fast, professional lube oil and filter change. Expressway Lubes, locally owned and proud to support our local student-athletes. Your tax pros at 672 West Main Street in Lander, Wyoming can handle all your tax needs. Whatever your situation, we know what to do. Call 307-856-2256 today to schedule an appointment. H&R Block is open Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. 
The staff and board at the Fremont County Fair wish to thank everyone who attended the fair this year. Whether you enjoyed family day, a night event, entered a craft show, or showed your livestock, thank you for all your efforts. We'll be moving and grooving next year, so stay tuned. Are you a caring person that wants to help but not sure where to go? Wyoming Senior Citizen Inc. is looking for caregivers across the state. Call 307-856-6880 to find out more information. They would like to wish all Fremont County athletes good luck this year. Let's go all Fremont County athletes. I, Matt Gordon from Fremont Chevy, would like to wish all teams this year good luck and bring back some championships to this county. If you need a new ride to get to and from those away games, stop down at 1401 North Federal Boulevard or call 307-851-3797 and let me help you get to the games. Your sales professional, Matt Gordon. Riverton Blowdorn Lumber is proud to support youth sports. Experience the Blowdorn difference. Quality products, design, delivery, and expert service. Blowdorn Lumber, 1202 North Federal in Riverton. Blowdorn Lumber. Overhead Door Company of Riverton and Lander is your premier dealer for quality windows and doors, featuring quality brands like Anderson, Colby, Larson Storm Doors, and more. Overhead Door Company is proud to support our Fremont County student-athletes. Your tax pros at 219 East Main Street in Riverton, Wyoming can handle all your tax needs. Whatever your situation, we know what to do. Call 307-856-2256 today to schedule an appointment. H&R Block is open Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. B&M Septic and Excavation offers prompt professional service. Call them today for a quote at 850-2200. They serve far and wide across Fremont County and deep. B&M Septic and Excavation is proud to support Fremont County Sports. If you're planning home improvement projects, look no further than Valley Lumber. They provide nothing but the best from lumber, power tools, hardware, paint, plumbing supplies. If you need it, they have it. Valley Lumber at 290 North 2nd Street in Lander. For more than 60 years, RTL Point S has been installing quality tires and offering expert vehicle service in Fremont County. With two locations on South Federal and West Main in Riverton, RTO Point S is proud to support our Fremont County student-athletes. Head to Nana's Bowling and Bakery in Dubois for Family Fun Night. Now booking parties for all ages and occasions. To reserve your company, family, or birthday party, call 455-3660. Nana's Bowling and Bakery is proud to support Fremont County student-athletes. Quality in Thermopolis offers great rates, a convenient location, standard room, and family rooms with bunk beds. Choice hotel members earn points while you stay. Quality Inn is proud to support Fremont and Hot Springs County student-athletes. Community Health Centers of Central Wyoming has locations across Fremont County ready to serve you at Dubois Medical Clinic, Riverton Community Health, and Lander Community Health Pediatrics. We accept all forms of insurance, including Medicaid and Medicare. Are you struggling to get medical care? Ask for their sliding fee scale. From family medicine to pediatrics, Community Health Centers are here to serve you. Call 307-463-7160 or visit chccw.org to schedule your appointment. Your car or truck is an investment. When it needs repairs, you need someone you can trust to do the job right. Take it to Gunners Automotive. They repair all makes and models of cars and trucks, from oil changes to brakes, tires, and more. Gunners Automotive, 856-2288. When you purchase your car, do you know if you got the best payment possible? The answer is probably no. Oftentimes, your loan is packed with additional charges that can drive your monthly payment higher than it should be, costing you thousands of dollars more for your car. Hi, this is Patty, and here is your second chance to get the payment you deserve. Visit Atlantic City Federal Credit Union today for a courtesy loan review. We've helped our members save money by refinancing their vehicle with us. Now it's your turn. Open your eyes to a credit union. Atlantic City Federal Credit Union. 381 Subs and Salads is the newest addition to Fremont County. They offer salads, sandwiches, ice cream, and lotus drinks. 381 Subs and Salads is located at 702 East Main Street in Riverton. 
Central Wyoming College now offers Bachelor of Applied Science degrees in early childhood education and organizational management and leadership with an emphasis in outdoor education, tribal leadership, or business and entrepreneurial leadership. CWC offers three ways to learn, online, virtual, and in person. Learn, grow, lead, and advance at Central Wyoming College. CWC is leading the way with expanded programs in the Bachelor of Applied Science degree. Riverton's Hampton Inn & Suites is proud to sponsor our youth athletics in Fremont County. Fremont County School Athletics provide our youth timeless experiences and lessons that can lead to success for life. Setting goals, teamwork, and hard work make young athletes into good citizens. When repairs are complete after a collision, you expect your car, SUV, or truck to look like new. That's the service you'll receive at Stork Auto Body in Riverton. Professionalism and meticulous attention to detail. You can depend on Stork Auto Body, 841 Mini Web Avenue, Riverton. The choice is yours. Sutherland's Friends of the Family Plus Consumer Credit Card lets you choose from 5% off instantly at the register or special financing on qualifying purchases. That means no forms, no waiting, no rebates. You can choose 5% off instantly with your Sutherland's Credit Card. Got a big project? Choose special financing. The choice is yours with Sutherland's Friends of the Family Plus Consumer Credit Card. Subject to credit approval, minimum monthly payment required. See store for details. Only at Sutherland's. At Teton Therapy, our people make the difference. You can live pain-free. The amazing staff at Teton Therapy can help in Lander and Riverton. From the wide open spaces to the canyon near you, Wyoming.com is reaching more homes and businesses than ever before. For more than 25 years, we've aimed to provide the best internet and phone service to meet the needs of our customers all across the great state of Wyoming. Now it's getting even better. Wyoming.com, expanding to an area near you. Wyoming.com, we're out there. And welcome back. It is now time for the Ranger Halftime Show. And uh, we want to say hello to anybody listening. We got a lot of streamers, uh, people watching the stream. I'm sure listen on KWYW. This homecoming week, well, if you scripted it for homecoming, you couldn't have hoped for any better. Wind River leads 28 nothing. Really, the only sour spot, if you will, is only being two for four on two-point conversions. Uh, onside kick work, etc. Everything has worked. Now, for Grable, they went for onside kick to start the game. Now, it, I'm not a big believer in omens, but when the onside kick only goes seven yards... So it doesn't go the full uh, 10. Uh, River uh, Riverton. <laughs> Wind River gets a hold of it and goes down the field and scores. Everything Wind River has touched tonight, especially offensively, has been golden. Of course, they're still rotating, as they always do, Chris Burke and um, Cooper Frederick, and both of them having great success. The running game, which is primarily Chris Burke's forte, has just been going great out of the power eye. The shotgun and passing. I mean, passes that should not work, ladies and gentlemen, that you're told not to do. Like going, rolling across, rolling with your body and throwing across of it that usually would possibly be pick sixes or at least interceptions have not been, have been completions for long gains and scores. This is, dare I say it, a game of just talent. The talent is better on Wind River. Um, of course, they're well coached, of course, by Coach Frederick, Coach Anderson. Of course, that doesn't hurt and when you only have two assistants. But, or excuse me, not two assistants. Why am I saying two assistants? <laughs> when you have, well, that's why, two assistants in Kyle Hunter and Troy Anderson, and you've got head coaching experience on your small assistant staff here in Nine Man, that only goes to help things. 
so it has been an all Wind River show. It's what you kind of want at homecoming. One of the bigger differences, is, though, is that high schools have to play in conference. They don't necessarily get to choose their homecoming opponent as far outside of just going, okay, well, that one on that date that we've been given for in conference. This isn't like college where Alabama can choose to beat up on Mercer or Georgia beat up on the Little Sisters of the Poor. This is this is you get what you get. Um, Big Piney, of course, won twenty six to seven. I do believe is what I heard. Um, it may have been slightly different than that, so we'll lay eyes on that. A reminder that tomorrow night we will be having Riverton on air on KTAK. Lander will be on KFCW 93.9 and 93.1 respectively as far as those two. And of course on 101.7 KDNO will be Kevin 1 and Kevin 2. Um, or as I like to say, Kevin 2 and Kevin 3 um, will be bringing you the Thermopolis Bobcats. Um, both te- All teams kind of looking to write their season in some extent and one team looking to continue. Uh, Riverton, of course, with two big wins in a row, having defeated Lander last week for the first time in several years and, of course, beating Rollins the week before. So now they're going to try and continue this winning streak and have a real good shot at making the state playoffs. Have a real good shot at that. So great success in first-year Coach Lenhart. Now... Lander having to do something they haven't done in a while. They've got to look in the mirror, and they've got to come out. It's been a bad season thus far. Only added icing on top of that bad cake with losing to Riverton. So they've got to question themselves and figure out what Lander wants to be. Thermopolis ups and downs, some struggles even in the ups offensively. So they're trying to figure out what is going on. As we look ahead to teams that could make state here on the Ranger Halftime Show, right now are two, the two that are pretty much almost a given lock, if not a lock, are Dubois, the Dubois Rams and the Wind River Cougars. They look the best of all right now. Shoshone, Lander, and Thermopolis for Teams we cover, really struggling. Wyoming Indian, of course, really struggling. Riverton, probably the third team that maybe has a shot to get in there. A reminder that we will follow all the teams in Fremont all the way to state, manpower willing. And right now, it looks very good that we will have that manpower. Um, One change I'm going to make kind of on the fly that I haven't told the people yet um, who work with us is that our last game of the year, our last game of the year for Fremont, County Game of the Week is Du Bois at Burlington. That's going to be a Saturday pregame show starting right before noon, most likely. Um, sometimes the times change. But we're going to move that off KWYW onto KTAK as we have done in the past um, because that, quite honestly, is the one station we have that we have uh, we get up to Du Bois. So we'll switch it over to that. Next week, of course, we're going to be highlighting Wind River and Shoshone, the big rivalry for Shoshone, biggest game of the year. For Wind River, they just, of course, want to win and beat their rival. So two programs going in two directions right now. Of course, reloading and rebuilding, really, is Shoshone after losing 12 seniors last year. Wind River, of course, currently ranked number two in the state. We'll see if they maintain that. Grable, number eight, is losing 28 to nothing here. Big Piney. Shoshone able to keep that score down in the 20s. So it could be very interesting where the ranking pans out. At the end of the day, though, it's all fun for us. It's fun for the listeners, but it really doesn't matter. Get to state, then next goal, get get a win, get to the semis, then get to Laramie and win a state championship. So Wind River and Dubois definitely in the driver's seat um, as far as that goes and with control of their own destiny and a good shot. Riverton with their record in conference in the driver's seat as well. 
Um, they are in the driver's seat to get to state. They control that destiny for themselves. So three teams here in Fremont with some aspirations. And, boy, Wind River and Dubois looking at Laramie saying this could be our year to win state. On the flip side, Riverton saying, hey, this is just one big – this would be one big step. This would put us ahead of schedule. So that's kind of your Fremont wrap-up here on the Ranger Halftime. We'll be right back with the second half. It is Wind River 28, Grable 0 here on y KWYW, The Heat. Bailey's Enterprises is a proud sponsor of Riverton Wolverines football. For over 50 years, Bailey's has become the name you can trust. With pit stop travel centers, you can fuel up and stock up on trip snacks at locations all over Fremont County. You can also put your trust in Bailey Tire and Auto for service and to keep handy for those times when your luck runs out on the road. Refresh at the Speedway Cafe with a dine-in meal or a round of carry-out with a variety of specials to keep you going. Go with Bailey, go Wolverines. Want access to local news, sports, events, and more? Download the Wyo Today app. Now available on all platforms. Stream your favorite radio station, submit something to buy, sell, or trade for deals on the dial, or view contests and special coupons. Better yet, the Wyo Today app is the best way to access free HD video of Fremont and Hot Springs County Athletics. It's all at your fingertips. Head to your app store or visit wyotoday.com to download the Wyo Today app now. Wind River Family and Community Healthcare has clinics located in Arapahoe, Ethity, and Riverton. We provide family medical services along with dental, optometry, behavioral health, physical and occupational therapy, and more. Our in-house lab and pharmacy at all locations make for a one-stop primary health care center for your health care needs. Wind River Family and Community Healthcare is striving for a stronger, healthier community because Wind River Cares. More information can be found at windrivercares.com. From one corner of the state to the other, over 82% of Wyomingites wear their seatbelts. And to the 18% who don't, we say, let's buckle up for life, Wyoming. High Plains Power is a Touchstone Energy Cooperative. What does that mean for you? And welcome back. It is time for the second half. Wind River up 28 to nothing. They will be kicking off to Grable as Grable deferred. So teeing it up will be Kaziah Jones. And we've already seen one on sidekick. Do we dare see another one, Connor? Do we dare see another one? Yes. Oh, you heard the prediction there from the man of many words. Connor Shields. He thinks the onside's coming. I don't think up 28 nothing. he's going onside here. I really don't. Then again, I didn't expect him to go with it at all. So, shows what I know. So, the whistle. Jones is going to kick it. He's going to kick it deep. It's going to bounce, and it's going to hit an ankle. So, it is a live ball. They have not started the clock, though. And now they finally do, and it's picked up by Grable. He's going to return out to the 20 after fielding it at about the 11. Let's get the action on the center there. Ball on the 21-yard line, first and 10. So, it'll be first down and 10 for Grable. Quarterback Caden Hunt has not had a good day, and lo and behold, all sorts of craziness now is going to ensue as they're going to come out in the shotgun. They've been in the wishbone the entire time. Hunt's going to hand off out of the wishbone, and he's going to reach the 22. Oh, he's going to break some tackles up to 25, 26, maybe the 27. Maybe the 27-yard line obtained by number 44, Lucas Bolzer. Hey, 
All right, going from the gun again, Hunt with four wide. He's going to fake the handoff, and this time he's going to throw it to Joel Miller, who's going to get tackled immediately right at the 27-yard line. They're going to give him the 28, so maybe even the 29. They do give him the 29 there, so a gain of about two. We'll set up third and short. The line to make is the 21 and a half. Hunt in the gun. One protecting back, three wide this time. He's going to roll right. He's going to throw it out, and he has Gatton open, and Gatton is going to reach. He's going to reach the 47-yard line, 48-yard line. So it'll be first and 10, excuse me, from the 44. I'm getting all sorts of lost here. From the 44-yard line, all of a sudden, where this came from, I have no idea. In the gun, three wide, all on the near side. Snap. Hunt's going to complete it up around the 47-yard line where he's going to be tackled. Let's see. It was four progress. They'll only give him the 46. So it will be a gain of about three, and it will set up second and seven. So all this, going from the wishbone to four wide is unique. Four wide this time, three of them near. Hunt the snap. He's going to fake it, and then he's going to throw across the middle up to about the 50. No, they're going to say it was incomplete. So let's get it stopped. Clock stopped there. He evidently dropped it on his way down, and that will set up third and seven from the Grable own 46. Going from the gun, now two wide, got some tight ends in the game. One protecting back. Hunt gets the snap. He's fading back. He's under pressure. He rolls right, gets it complete, and he's going to be tackled almost immediately, I think out of bounds, though. So Bolzer with it, and he's going to be stopped short. He's going to be right at the 49 of Wind River, so it will be fourth and two. No doubt they're going to go for it here. You're down 28, and you've just abandoned the wishbone. And now all, all sorts of craziness happen. No, they're going to punt? Okay. Um, I don't think Wind River's going to buy this at all, although a guy is going back to return it. So, Gatton's going to take it. He's going to fake it, and he's not going to get it. So, I, I'm completely confused by that. They would have been better off just going out of their set offensive formation than to try and fake a punt when they are in a – and it is a fake situation, but they'd already done it. You'd already shown that you were willing to do it, and Wind River wasn't buying what Grable was selling there. And so, it'll be a turnover on downs – right at the Wind River 49, so great field position for a team who hasn't needed great field position. Frederick going from the gun, three wide, two on the far side. Man goes in motion, handoff on the end around. He's at the 50, now down to the 45, still got it on his feet, and out at the 40-yard line. Out at the 40-yard line is, I had the wrong one pulled up, is Braden Tatro. Down. So first down for Wind River, and again, they don't need the good field position, so I'm kind of confused by the fake punt. I'm not confused by going on fourth, but I am confused by the what situation they're putting themselves in. A fullback who can run, but you're turning up fourth and two, he's standing 10 yards behind the line of scrimmage when he gets the snap. So anyway, Frederick coming out of the gun, two near, one far. Frederick going in motion. And we just had the score reset. I do apologize about that. Have, uh, so we're going to fix that real quick. It won't take us long. <laughs> there we go. Gain there is for nothing. They tried a little fake, uh, an end around with a little fake reverse action. Didn't go anywhere. So it'll set up second and ten. Some substitutions coming in. As we see Tatra come back in, and we see Chris Burke come back in. So what Chris Burke is going to line up at and what Cooper Frederick is going to line up at is totally up to them <laughs> or up to the coaches. Frederick going to be a quarterback. That means out wide is or at tight end is going to be Burke, and he's on the left side. Now he goes in motion, joins the other two wideouts. Frederick going to take it. He's going to have to keep it. He launches a little pass and just 
did not hit the intended target. Uh, threw it a little bit behind Burke, and it falls incomplete. And we're having all sorts of trouble uh, problems with our clock here. We'll get that squared away for you. So set up third and 10 from the 39-yard line of Grable. Of course, this is most likely four-down territory anyway. Or at least we would assume it is. So Frederick going out of the gun, Burke on the near side, two others up top. Burke goes in motion again, and we have an immediate flag, and we're going to have a sack. So we'll see what the what the flag here is for with 819 to play in the third quarter. It's going to be a legal shift against the offense. No doubt that will be declined. And most likely we will see a punt here. So while I thought it would be four down territory, you can get sacked back at the 46-yard line, lose seven yards, and not do that. So Kaziah Jones on to punt with 8.19 to play. Whistled back in play here. Gunner's kind of confused, switching sides. One man back deep. He's only at the 20. So Grable's first real defensive stop of the night. Snap is good. Punt is high, and it doesn't turn over, but it's received right at the 20. And he's going to gain it about to the 31-yard line, which is about one yard further than when the first down sticks were. Jesus Rodriguez, Jesus Rodriguez with the return gained about nine, and it will set up first and ten from the where are they going to spot it is the question. I want to say it was about the 31. They may have given him even the 32. Let's see here. They are going to give him the 32 and a half. So it'll be first and 10 now for Grable. 28 nothing in favor of uh, Wind River. It has been all them, but the second half, Grable has abandoned the wishbone, gone with the gun. They're going to stay in that. They're in the pistol now. Two wideouts, one on each side, one protecting back behind him in the pistol. Snap. It's going to be taken. He's going to roll right his hunt. He's going to catch it. Does 44, and he's going to get all the way out to the 45-ish before being tackled. Nicely done there. And where was this? If they have this ability, Lucas Bolzer all of a sudden getting his name called all the time. You see the cornerback kind of peeled off of him on that. Kind of peeled off on that because he thought he was going to get called for P.I. From the gun this time, one protecting back on his left, four wideouts, three of them near. And this time Hunt's going to roll to the right and almost picked off, but it's going to be caught. Nicely done, that by Gatton. And now I'm all sorts of kind of confused as to why Grable has not been doing this the entire game. So quickly up to the line, out of the pistol, it looks like now the running back's going to come up even to form the shotgun. Three wide on the near side, one on the top far side. Looks like it's Gatan on the right. Hunt going to take the snap. It's going to throw it out very quickly, and it's going to be read by a whole host of Wind River defenders. Trying to get, he got it to Wyatt Dietrichson. Unable to get a whole lot. In fact, he just got the line of scrimmage, which is the 41-yard line of Wind River. So it'll be second down and 10 for the visitor, visiting buffs. Caden Hunt. The sophomore out of the pistol with two wide, one on each side. Bad snap again. And this time Hunt goes back to get it. He's just going to try and throw it away. He's able to get it to a man. You can't go down to a knee and then pop back up. Someone needs to remind him of that. He tried to go down, picked it up untouched. He bet Lucas Bolzer wishes that was the case. But as such, he's going to lose about six inches in the play. Good job by Hunt to try and get rid of the ball. He'd probably been better off. He was outside the tackle box, just throwing it away. But able to salvage it in one-yard loss, third and 11. Two, three wide, two on the near side. Hunt fades back, and we get a whistle. 6-0-5 to play, and this is going to be... Well, he didn't get actually to signal it before he get someone threw in the ball. It's going to be a legal procedure against the offense. So back it up five yards. 
five yard penalty. Still third down. So waiting for the whistle to bring it back in. It has started, and now it's going to be third and about 17. Hut out of the gun, three on the near side. He's going to roll to the near side. That's his left. He's going to throw it, and it's going to be high and incomplete with 5.52 to go in, 5.51 to go in the third quarter. So now you got questions to make. The shotgun has kind of bogged down, but it has moved the ball so much more effectively than the wishbone ever even thought of doing for them. So interesting conundrum here for Grable after this game is what do you stick with? Um, it'll be interesting to see. They will be 3-3 three and three leaving this game most likely. Wind River probably going to 7-0. and oh. It looks like they're going to punt with Gatton. They couldn't fake it again, could they? Oh, nope, they did. They faked it. Went to the up back on fourth and 16, and he gained three. So, I'm at a loss. I'm at a loss. It's going to be a turnover on downs. We'll take it with them. We'll be right back. 548 to play in the third here on KWYW 99.1 The Heat. It all comes down to seven principles. Open membership, one voice, one vote, member benefits, independence, education, cooperation, and community. To understand how it all works, we're headed back in time. In 1879, electricity was in major cities, but rural areas were out of luck. In 1935, President FDR made... First down. Oh, Lord, they picked him up. <laughs> and welcome back. Didn't mean to come back from the ads that quickly. We'll get right back to the High Plains Power Ad at the next break. But it is 28-0 with 548, actually 532 to go. So we're having all sorts of clock issues, are we not? So we're going to catch it up real quickly here. All right, we do so on first down, gain of six and a half by... Wind River, Burke in at quarterback. They're in the power eye. They're going to sneak it up again. And they're just basically pushing. They're just exerting their will now. Huge gain all the way down to the 41-yard line of, uh, excuse me, of Grable is going to set it up to be first and 10. And this has just been two straight up the middles. This is just exerting your will on your opponent. So Wind River will keep doing that. I'm still perplexed by the three fake punts. After the first one was unsuccessful, they're looking for it. And you're going on fourth and 16. From the power eye, Burke under center, and we get all sorts of flags. That is usually going to be a situation with motion. That is exactly what it is. So we'll back it up five yards, and we'll have ourselves a good old-fashioned first and 15 for the Cougars. So going to be scrimmaging from the 46-yard line of the Buffs. Cougars coming out in the power eye. Burke under center. Snap pitch. Pitch is going to be, he's almost going to stumble. He's going to get up. He's only going to gain about two. That stumble really, really affecting the young man. Second down. So we'll have a second and long. Gained about a yard and a half. The stumble really caused an issue, so that's why he get, the defender did not stop pursuing. Got a hand on him, wasn't able to take him down, but led to him being down eventually because the stumble allowed other buffs to get to him. Going out of the power eye is going to be Burke. I expect it to be up the center here. Burke going to do a pitch again. They were looking for maybe a halfback pass, it looked like, and it's completely red, and we're going to have a flag, and it's going to be completed up close to the original line of scrimmage, but there is a flag on the play that allows us to get the clock back under. It's going to be a block on the back, a block in the back, excuse me, against Wind River. So we're going to back up a whole long way if we're Wind River here. It, it, it's going to be forever and a day after this. 
So it's going to be second and a very long way, Burke having been in. And since they've kind of left that straight up the middle run, it hasn't panned out real well. So Wind River this time, of course, Fletcher going to come in. I'm not Fletcher. Cooper Frederick, excuse me. Frederick is going to hand off to Joaquin Stevens. Stevens on the end round. He's got the 40. He's got the 35. He's got a first down on second and 22. Oh, Joaquin Stevens just went around and turned on the Jets, getting all the way to the 30, turning second and forever to no problem, man. The Cougars are on the road with Shoshone. So next week, Shoshone, they just announced, will be hosting Wind River, and we will be there, of course, bringing you that as our game of the week. We're kind of up in the air on commentators, uh, so we'll get back with you. It may be me. It may be somebody else. We'll figure that out as we get closer to it. Under three minutes, under two minutes and 50 seconds, Wind River's had the ball for a long time, Cooper Frederick is going to have trouble with the snap, so he's going to keep it, and he's going to get just eaten alive for a loss of about one. Okay. Bad snap up okay. down around his feet. We have I don't know if he's ball. looking for Stevens on the end around. But he struggled with all it. Hope to see you all there. So making some substitutions is Grable. Interesting part is nobody has scored in this third quarter. We went from Wind River just marching down the field at, with ease to had a little bit of trouble to start off this second half. Um, and it's, it's remained 28 nothing. Grable really hasn't been able to put anything together. A few more first down, but that's it. On the end round again at the 25-20. Cuts it up the middle. He's going to go all the way. 31-yard touchdown for number... 51. <laughs> Did you say that? Braden Tatro? They're trying to convince me that Keziah Jones just went up the middle. Um, I, I'm not going to buy that one. No, thank you. But it is a touchdown. Nicely done, and it's 34 nothing. End around again, find out Grable. Grable having issue on the sides with speed going left to right. Um, that is the hallmark of great defenses is when you can cover that. And they're going to attempt to kick here. Wind River going to try and kick their first extra point. I've seen them kick, and oh, my. It should have been blocked. It should have had all sorts of problems, but it goes through successfully. So, minute 45 to go in the third quarter. It's 35 nothing. Wind River. We'll be right back here on KWYW The Heat. ...to unserved areas. By the time we hit 1941, some 400 electric co-ops had been organized to serve rural America, just like High Plains Power. For more information, visit highplainspower.org. We believe that everyone deserves a second chance, including us. Hi, I'm Brian Robacher, CEO of Atlantic City Federal Credit Union. And if we said no to you in the past, I'm asking you for a second chance too. In the midst of everything happening, we are committed now more than ever to second chances and when it comes to your finances. An auto loan for your new car, business loans, home loans, and more. Give Atlantic City Federal Credit Union a second chance to give you a second chance. We've been helping our community thrive since 1964, and now it's your turn. Visit AtlanticCity.coop to apply today. Atlantic City Federal Credit Union, federally insured by the NCUA. Welcome back to the Fremont County Game of the Week here on KWYW 99.1 The Heat and Y.O. Today Media. Wind River on this homecoming week dominating Gray Bull 35 to nothing with minute 46 left in the third. Kicking off will be Kaziah Jones who the guys next to me filming for Wind River tried to convince me was the one who ran the end around from the wideout position. <laughs> Jones has it teed up. And the kick, this one kind of low, and it looks like it's going to go out of bounds. I don't know if they're going to flag. 
Now, now I don't know if high school has the same rules as the NFL where you can be laying out of bounds, touch it inbounds, and you're still out of bounds for the penalty. That's on one of those YouTube smartest smartest kickoff plays. Um, but nonetheless, no flag is thrown. So they're going to say he was down at the Grable 36 where they will start with the ball. First and 10, going from the gun four wide, three of them on the near side. Jones trying to get off the field, and we're going to have some whistle. Trying to figure out what it was. I think they were saying they didn't give him enough time um, because they did substitute. So from the gun with three near and one far, he's going to run with it to the right. He's going to roll out, and it's going to be incomplete, I do believe. It is going to be incomplete. He was looking for an eight-yard throw. Runner unable to keep it in his hands or keep it and catch it before he went out of bounds, and that would have nullified it anyway. So dealing with a lot of short angles there. Same, same formation here. Snap, fake on the play action and thrown over the middle, and that just looked like a duck. Don't know if it was hit or not by a defensive lineman, but it didn't have to go all that far. So by Miller, now out of the gun, Hunt going to throw go right. He's under pressure, and he's going to be – He's going to be taken down. He gets the ball away, but it'll be incomplete. That makes Coach Anderson up here in the box a happy man. Great job there by the defense, and sets up fourth and ten. And now I don't know if I dare say it, but they couldn't dare think about faking it here. Gatton coming in to punt. He's been the up. Uh, he's he's converted on no fake punts. He's 0 for two. The up back is 0 for one. Um, they've failed three times at Gatton get, gets it, and he actually punts this time. So it's going to roll dead. Not a lot to it. It's going to roll dead about the Grable 30, or excuse me, the Wind River 38 yard line. And that's where it will turn over. We'll be right back here with the rest of the third quarter on KWY. Wyoming Waste hopes that all Fremont County sports teams dismiss their opponents like Wyoming Waste dismisses your trash. They offer services from roll-off cans, commercial, and residential garbage. Wyoming Waste Services, Fremont County, Hot Springs County, Washakie County. They are open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Please call 307-856-5354 or stop down at the Riverton office, 730 South Broadway. Wyoming Waste wants to wish everyone in Fremont County good luck in their sports this year. And welcome back, 35 to nothing. All win river. They have the ball after the punt going out of the eye. Burke's going to hand it off, and he's got room to run. 45-40, all the way down to about the 33-yard line. They're going to mark him out at the 31. That was Cooper Frederick on the run, able to get out on the on the sweep and get a ton of yardage. So it did not take win river long. Let's just put it that way, to get into Grable, field, uh, Grable's side of the field, and they're just marching down now with the run, which is what we saw very early in the first quarter, is Grable just did not have the defense to stop the run. So taking their time in the huddle, breaking it, and I do believe we're going to see Burke under center. We are with the power eye. It's a thing of beauty, especially when you lead. Hand off to the fullback, and he's able to get all the way down to the 25-yard line, that being Blake Snyder, the five foot ten senior, able to move it all the way down for a gain of seven. They're going to say a little shy of seven, so it's going to be about second and a long three as we'll go under 30 seconds here to play in the third quarter. So this should be, I'm guessing this will be the last play. Burke under center. Chris Burke, the 5'11 senior quarterback. He's going to hand it off again, and I'm trying to see where they reached. 
They are shy of the first down just by about a yard. So that will end, be the end of the third quarter. We'll be right back with the start of the fourth here on KWYW. The Heat, it is Wind River 35, Grable 0. If your vehicle needs repair, you can depend on the crew at Extra Care Auto Repair. They can repair almost anything with wheels, gas, diesel, domestic, or import, and their work is top quality and reliable. Extra Care Auto Repair on North Federal in Riverton. Back when I was riding in rodeos, I always made sure I was locked in good and tight. Now as a touring musician, crisscrossing the country, I still make sure I'm locked in good and tight. Of course I do. Buckle up for life, Wyoming. Enjoy fresh made pizza, pasta, calzones, and subs at Perrette's, 519 West Main in Riverton. Open for lunch and dinner Monday through Friday. Closed on weekends. Call 857-7306 to order for pickup or delivery with DoorDash. Perrettes. And welcome back to the start of the fourth quarter here on the Fremont County Game of the Week. It is 35 to nothing in favor of Wind River to start, the, and they will start with the ball right outside the goal, uh, right outside the red zone. They're going to do a pitch, and he's going to have the 10, the five. Nice run there for a first down, and then some by Chris Burke. Not a pitch, a keep. Excuse me. So he's going to gain all the way down to the six-yard line where it will be first and goal. So Burke and Cooper Frederick coming out uh, off the sideline here after getting the play. So he, that's got to be confusing as can be because they rotate on every single play. Who's going to be quarterback? And who's going to be quarterback is going to dictate, especially with this team, who's doing what? Burke under center, power eye, takes the snap. He's going to almost botch a handoff, but he's going to get down to about the Four, I think, is where they're spotting him on the far side. Actually, the three. So it's kind of an awkward-looking handoff. It looked like both player Burke and Cooper were not on the same page as far as where each one was supposed to be. So it will set up a second and three, or second and goal, I should say, with 11 minutes to play in the ball game. The, the, the outcome has not been in doubt for quite some time. But can they score again? Burke under center. This time going to hand to Cooper Frederick, and he's going to plow right in. Just easily like a knife through butter. And it is 41 to 0 in favor of Wind River. So that took a long time for him to say that on the PA and fire the cannon here. But the the interesting part, the last shutout that this game had was, uh, or the most recent shutout, was you got to go all the way back to September twelfth, two thousand eight. Wind River shut out Grable twenty nine to nothing that day. They will be trying to kick again, and this time it's a high snap. And poor Burke's gonna get no, he's not gonna get taken down. He spins out to the right. He's at the ten, and now they're gonna catch up with him and put him down. So, Burke gave it the old college try. He gave it his best, but taken down. So, it's 41-0 here on the Fremont County Game of the Week. We'll be right back with the rest of the ball game here on KWYW The Heat. The Stock Doc is proud to serve all of Fremont County and surrounding areas. They are dedicated to providing the highest level of veterinarian medicine along with friendly and compassionate service. They service all pets of shapes and sizes between dogs and cows and cats and horses. They treat your animal like it's their own. The Stock Doc.
Midway. Visit an all-out clear-out for the new 2022 campers with the best price guarantee. Midway has financing with no money down, no payments for the rest of the year. Low, low interest rates on sweet fifth wheel. Dealer incentives up to 25000 on toy haulers. Top dollar on trade-ins and door-to-door delivery. It's Midway's all-out clear-out. MidwayCampers.com. Midway, when you expect the best. Welcome back. It is 41 nothing here on the Fremont County Game of the Week here on Y Today Media and KWYW The Heat. It has been all Wind River from moment one, and it has been all them every moment. Very few first downs to be had. Um, very unique decisions by Grable as far as they fake the punt the first time. Okay, but you don't get it. Now they're going to be looking for it every time. And still faking punts on fourth and 16, fourth and 18, stuff like that. It's just been a real interesting ball game from that perspective. So Keziah Jones has it teed up, and it's going to be kicked, and it's going to hit down, and it's going to go out of bounds. So out of bounds. Wind has suddenly just picked up greatly here in Pavilion. Um, Finally, that eight-mile-per-hour constant wind that we're told about showed up after it not being really windy at all. So from the 35-yard line after the ball goes out of bounds will be Caden Hunt and the Grable offense. He kind of feel for a little bit here. Of course, they're starting several young guys, including their quarterback. So going out of the pistol now, two wide, one on each side. Snap. Hunt's going to fade back. He's going to throw out to his fullback, who's going to be met right away, but it's going to fall forward. And almost could have been a flag for a late hit, but they don't throw it anyway. Reaches the 40. So a gain of five sets up second and five here. So clock rolling. Right now, Wind River ready for this game to be over. They're still going to give their all, but it's Coach, you know, the game's in doubt. And now we got too many men on the field. And I don't know if they got him off from the pistol. Rowan Wright is Hunt. And he's going to throw an interception. So Cooper, Cooper Frederick with the interception. 51 magically got out just in time before too many men on the field. And it's going to be first and 10 from the 45 for Wind River. I expect that we'll see a healthy dose of the power eye and Burke. I expect we'll see Chris Burke quite a bit, actually, and this running attack. One, it's making sense, and it's working. Two, it chews up clock. Three, no reason to show your air attack at all when you don't have to at this point with 10-0-1 to go in the fourth and a 41-point lead. So Burke is going to come in. He's going to go under center. Power eye. Snap. And they're going to hand it off, and he's going to get five yards right there, maybe a little bit more if the referees are generous, that being Aiden Ruby with the – they're going to say about five and a half. They're going to spot him out the – nope, the one side had it a little bit further. This one's going to have just right on the 45. So it will be – for second down and five from the Grable 40. So, of course, uh, Wind River in no hurry to get to the line. They take plenty of time and up brings Burke in the power eye under center. This is probably the formation I think we'll see the most. Going to hand it to the fullback who's going to churn those powerful legs and should have enough for a first down. Nope, they're going to say, okay, they're going to say right there, but not. Let's see here. Nope, they're going to move it. So they are going to signal first down. Two straight five-yard plays there. Chains are moved as we tick under nine minutes to go. Going out of the power eye, I'm sure here will be Burke. No, it's not that. I just think too much. 
Going from the power eye, Burke under center. Burke with the snap, going to fake it. Now he's going to look to throw, and he's got a guy wide open. Caught and touchdown. Touchdown, Wind River. Aiden Ruby with the 40-yard pass. Catch there. So now it's 47, and that's not what you expect out of Burke. So why not let him have some fun here on homecoming? 47 to nothing, Wind River. And I just realized how packed the parking lot was. <laughs> so 47 nothing, Wind River. And let's see, will they go for two or will they try and kick it here? They're one of two on the kicking. And we've seen quite a bit of all, of offensive line just debacle on the extra point attempts, which on nine main you kind of expect it. You usually only have three guys on the line anyway as far as offensive linemen go, and now you're trying to have that many guys who don't play line block for you on an extra point. And they're going to go for two. I think a wise decision by Coach Frederick, but it really doesn't matter what I think. He's made the call. Power eye with Burke. Burke going to do the toss sweep. Sweep was a little bit behind him, but nonetheless, he walks right in. So he meandered his way. He took a casual stroll, untouched, into the end zone. And it's 49 to nothing. Wind River here on the Fremont County Game of the Week. We'll be right back on KWYW 99.1 The Heat. It's quite fitting that we play NFL films because I like I feel like I've watched the greatest hits of Dick Buckus. Dick Buckus, of course, rest in peace, died today at 80. For all those over 40 plus, you at least saw him on the NFL Films VHS if you're a football fan. And we watched Wind River basically pull a Dick Buckus tonight. 49 to nothing over the visitors from Grable. And it has looked actually worse than what the score is, if you can believe that. Three fake punts on fourth and forevers that led to nowhere. Um, a team that just ditched the wishbone and went to the run and shoot. So, you know you've played well, Wind River, when you get a wishbone team to go, eh, we're tired of the option. Kaziah Jones going to hit it to the kick it to the up back. He gets it at the 35. Up back's at the third, gets out to about the 44 yard line before he's taken down with 8.15 to go in the fourth quarter. So let's see here at this point, what does Wind River do? I mean, what does Grable do? We've seen the run and shoot air raid. We've seen the wishbone. Maybe they'll fake field goal every play the rest of the way. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I don't mean to make fun. I'm not trying to poke any more fun at it. But it is something to see a team you usually don't see this um, going from the option to four and five wide. Um, and you wonder why you didn't see it earlier. You also wonder why the clock stopped on a dead ball. Um, but now we have too many men on the field or an illegal procedure. So we'll be able to catch it up here. Foul is going to be, yep, illegal substitution. Too many. Too many guys on the field, um, which is sad on first down after a kickoff. It's It's been a rough day for Grable. And, you know, Wind River's sitting here right now thinking this could be one of the best offensive performances of this rivalry. It probably won't get up to the best. That was in the 60s. But it could be the best defensive and score difference as far as getting the shutout here, um, which we haven't seen since 2008, I do believe is what I said earlier. Um, let's just make sure of that. Check our notes here. It has been a hot minute um, since they've beaten them this bad. And that was 08, excuse me. Yes, 2008, September 12th, 29 to nothing. So they're trying to do that right now. We'll take this time out with them. Still 49 nothing, all in favor of Wind River.
You don't have a lot of time. Expressway Lubes on South Federal in Riverton and Highway 789 in Lander provide a fast, professional lube oil and filter change. Expressway Lubes, locally owned and proud to support our local student-athletes. And welcome back. It's 49-0 Wind River here on Wired Today Media, 99.1 KWYW, The Heat. Coming out of the timeout on first and 15, out of the gun, Hunt. Caden Hunt's going to look to throw, cross, oh, and almost picked off. Just out of the outstretched hands. So set up second and 15, Wind River, and that would have been a pick six, ladies and gentlemen. So now we are at the moving clock situation, unless there is a timeout on the field. So we'll have to get it back to square one here. We're a little bit behind. Out of the gun, three four wide, three up top. Hunt takes it. He's going to look to his right. He's going to throw again. This time complete. Nope, incomplete. So incomplete, should have been hauled in, but good defense to strip it out of his hands at the last second. Sets up third and long. So we're going to get our clock resituated here. So out of the gun, out of the pistol, now looking confused, is Grable. Going now out of the gun, three wide on the right, one on the near side, or on the right, excuse me, three on the left. And we're going to have a sack at about the 30-yard line. They might give him the 31-32 as far as forward progress goes. And it'll be fourth and forever. Now, if you're still listening and you're Placing bets on this, which you shouldn't be. It's high school football. But if you are, the bet is going to be, do they fake the punt? Um, they've done it on fourth and forever before. Um, but nonetheless, Gatan is going to be back there to punt, we think. Now, the interesting part with him is we've seen him do it rugby style, Australian rules style, and a typical drop back. So he's, diver he's diversified his kicking game, to say the least. Going back for the offense will be number 14, Wombley Romero. And that punt is going to go straight up, and it's going to land about the 40. Wombley was just a bit further back than that by 15 yards. Oh. And it'll be Cougar ball. Clock will keep moving, even though we're going to take time out with them and be right back here on KWYW. It's 49 nothing, Wind River. Your tax pros at 672 West Main Street in Lander, Wyoming can handle all your tax needs. Whatever your situation, we know what to do. Call 307-856-2256 today to schedule an appointment. H&R Block is open Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. The staff and... Welcome back to KWYW 99.1 The Heat. It is 49 nothing. All Wind River on this homecoming weekend and week here. A lot of festivities for alumni and students alike. Clock, you're wondering, why is it moving when y'all took a commercial break? Well, that's because we're on a moving clock, and now they finally stopped it because of a timeout by the Cougars, which is interesting coming out of that. So let's get it back set we have 4.35 to go. And we'll take that time out with them as well and be right back on KT, uh, KWYW 99.1 to eat. Thank everyone who attended the fair this year. Whether you enjoyed family day, a night event, entered a craft show, or showed your livestock, thank you for all your efforts. We'll be moving and grooving next year, so stay tuned. And welcome back, Burke out there. Chris Burke in the power eye. He's under center for Wind River. He's going to take He, I think he dropped the ball. And we have a fumble, and it is a turnover. Fumble on the play. Buff and cover. First and ten. So it'll be first and ten for Grable on the turnover. So 
so it will be a turnover with 4.06 to play. And this is probably the best field position and really the only time that Grable has threatened. They, of course, do not want to be shut out. Out of the gun is Caden Hunt. He's got three on the near side, one on the far, and one protecting back. Takes a snap. He's looking right. He's going to go deep. He's going to not go deep, but go way across the field. And it's going to be tipped and incomplete. On the defense there was number 16, Braden Tatro. So, Wind River trying to preserve this shutout. They're going to do everything they can, 49 nothing. That's a nice little, especially for these seniors, a nice little homecoming trophy for the mantle. Out of the gun, same formation. Hunt going to take it back. He's under a little bit of pressure. He's going to roll to his left. He's going to look and throw, and a diving deflection. And was that Tatro again? It was indeed. He's just all over the place on this drive, wanting to preserve this shutout. Sets up a third and 10 from the 44, where Wind River had turned it over on the fumble. Okay, going three on the near side again, one on the far, one protecting back, Hunt in the gun. And the left guard just flinched, but they don't call it. He's going for a man and poorly defended, actually. The wide receiver had a shot at it, but just dropped it with two and a half to go. So now that sets up fourth and ten, which this should possibly, unless a conversion is here, this should be the last meaningful play of the game, as I expect it'll just be fullback runs or taking a knee for Wind River the rest of the way. So doing some late substitution, three on the near side, one on the far, Wind River, uh, excuse me, Grable going left to right on your radio dial. I haven't said that already. I'm, I do apologize for those listening. Bats, a low snap. They're going to go deep as Hunt, and he's going to get picked off. Hunt picked off by Wind River. Great way to end it all. And that was number that was Riker Roberts, number 11, with the interception. So it'll be first and 10 for the Cougars. They're only going to need to run one, maybe two plays. Expect it might be my favorite formation and yours, the victory formation. But we shall see what it will be. Nope, it's going to be power eye. Burke under center. And he drops it again. He has to dive onto it. Uh, Burke losing a little bit of concentration or the center, one of the two. And that's two back-to-back -back fumbles, one lost, one gotten. Oh, we got a new quarterback in. Jacob who? Hart, Jacob Hardcastle is now in number two. So he is in. That's the second fumble in a row by him. So going out of the gun is Hardcastle. He's in the power eye. Under center. 38 seconds to go. And counting. They will only have to get. Can they get the center exchange right right now? They do. And they take a knee. So they're going to let time run out here. So on homecoming week, the Wind River Cougars are victorious in dominating fashion and win 49 to nothing over the visitors from Grable. We'll be right back with the Click It or Ticket postgame show here on KWYW 99.1 The Heat that wants to help but not sure where to go? Wyoming Senior Citizen Inc. is looking for caregivers across the state. Call 307-856-6880 to find out more information. They would like to wish all Fremont County athletes good luck this year. Let's go all Fremont County athletes. I, Matt Gordon from Fremont Chevy, would like to wish all teams this year good luck and bring back some championships to this county. If you need a new ride to get to and from those away games, stop down at 1401 North Federal Boulevard or call 307-851-3797 and let me help you get to the games. Your sales professional, Matt Gordon. 
Riverton Blowdorn Lumber is proud to support youth sports. Experience the Blowdorn difference. Quality products, design, delivery, and expert service. Blowdorn Lumber, 1202 North Federal in Riverton. Blowdorn Lumber. Overhead Door Company of Riverton and Lander is your premier dealer for quality windows and doors, featuring quality brands like Anderson, Colby, Larson Storm Doors, and more. Overhead Door Company is proud to support our Fremont County student-athletes. Your tax pros at 219 East Main Street in Riverton, Wyoming can handle all your tax needs. Whatever your situation, we know what to do. Call 307-856-2256 today to schedule an appointment. H&R Block is open Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. B&M Septic and Excavation offers prompt professional service. Call them today for a quote at 850-2200. They serve far and wide across Fremont County and deep. B&M Septic and Excavation is proud to support Fremont County Sports. If you're planning home improvement projects, look no further than Valley Lumber. They provide nothing but the best from lumber, power tools, hardware, paint, plumbing supplies. If you need it, they have it. Valley Lumber at 290 North 2nd Street in Lander. And welcome to the Click It or Ticket post game show here on KWYW 99.1 The Heat. Absolute dominating performance by the home team, Wind River Cougars, making Fremont County proud on this Fremont County game of the week as they win in dominating fashion 49 to nothing. Their first shutout of Grable since September of 08. And they get a little bit closer to tying up the series the all-time series of course as we said during the hampton and sweets pregame show the series uh record was 11 and 9 in favor of grable who won their first 10. the next 10 went 9 and 1 to win river it is now 11 and 10. So next year, if they face off, we get a chance to see Wind River equalize this thing potentially. We're going to roll right into, because we're all kind of cold here. It's gotten very chilly up top. Into our Gatorade play of the game. Excuse me on the hiccup there. I should hit the button. Gatorade play of the game was not made by none other than Cooper Frederick. Cooper Frederick on the far side of the field going right to left on your radio dial with the pick that kind of ended all hope for any hope that Grable had. So congratulations, Cooper Frederick, with the Gatorade play of the game. Now for our Papa Murphy's player of the game, and we're going to have to, I'm guessing with it being homecoming, they're already all headed to the locker room. We're going to have to get the coach some Papa, uh, Papa Murphy's coupon for Braden Tatro, or Tatro, excuse me. Braden Tatro playing extremely well on the defensive side. He was all over the field. When I mean that, on back-to-back -back plays, making deflections, one on the left side, then one on the far right side, they could not get away as hard as they tried. Could the Buffs get away? from Braden Tatra. So congratulations to him. Congratulations to Coach Frederick, the staff here, and all the players after a successful homecoming week. Congratulations to the fans too. This is one packed parking lot as they play House of Pain in the background. We'll be right back with a few thoughts at the end here on KWIW 99.1 to 8. TL Point S has been installing quality tires and offering expert vehicle service in Fremont County with two locations on South Federal and West Main in Riverton. RTO Point S is proud to support our Fremont County student athletes. Head to Nana's Bowling and Bakery in Dubois for Family Fun Night. Now booking parties for all ages and occasions. To reserve your company, family, or birthday party, call 455-3660. Nana's Bowling and Bakery is proud to support Fremont County student-athletes. Quality in Thermopolis offers great rates, a convenient location, standard room, and family rooms with bunk beds. Choice hotel members earn points while you stay. Quality in is proud to support Fremont and Hot Springs County student-athletes. 
Community Health Centers of Central Wyoming has locations across Fremont County ready to serve you at Dubois Medical Clinic, Riverton Community Health, and Lander Community Health Pediatrics. We accept all forms of insurance, including Medicaid and Medicare. Are you struggling to get medical care? Ask for their sliding fee scale. From family medicine to pediatrics, Community Health Centers are here to serve you. Call 307-463-7160 or visit chccw.org to schedule your appointment. Welcome back to the Click It or Ticket postgame show here. The final score, 49 nothing. all Wind River Cougars. There was absolutely nothing Grable could do to stop this momentum. The Cougars are number two in the state in nine-man 1A. Or, excuse me, in nine-man. Grable came in number eight. We'll see. Did they do enough? Well, they certainly did enough, but did Shoshone, their arch rivals of Wind River, do enough with Big Piney holding them to 26 points total, staying in the game? Did they do enough for Wind River to ascend to number one? If they did, that's the last favor this coming week that is going to be offered as next week our game of the week will be live from Shoshone High School. It will be Wind River at Shoshone here on KWYW and on Wild Today next Friday night. So, what's left of, of the games of the week? You got one more game after that. You'll have Dubois Rams hosting Burlington in a big matchup. And then we've got the playoffs. Be sure to check Wild Today for all of those schedules as we get into playoffs. Remember, they are subject to change at any time. We can get them at any time. So, always be paying attention to see if your team made the playoffs, where they're playing, who they're playing. So, for Kevin Shields and Connor Shields on camera, want to thank him. Also, I want to thank Leanne Sanderson back at the mothership, keeping everything on and going well at the radio station. This has been the Fremont County Game of the Week on 99.1 KWYW and YO Today Media's YouTube page. Be sure to check it out next Friday night for the next Game of the Week. Until then, we will see you later. When it needs repairs, you need someone you can trust to do the job right. Ticket to Gunners Automotive. They repair all makes and models of cars and trucks, from oil changes to brakes, tires, and more. Gunners Automotive, 856-2288. When you purchase your car, do you know if you got the best payment possible? The answer is probably no. Oftentimes, your loan is packed with additional charges that can drive your monthly payment higher than it should be, costing you thousands of dollars more for your car. Hi, this is Patty, and here is your second chance to get the payment you deserve. Visit Atlantic City Federal Credit Union today for a courtesy loan review. We've helped our members save money by refinancing their vehicle with us. Now it's your turn. Open your eyes to a credit union. Atlantic City Federal Credit Union.